all stations all stations mumbai control readability check one two three four five five four three two one how do you read Radio five Victor Tango Kilo uniform Lima. Mumbai Control Victor Tango Kilo Alpha Papa. Radio five. Mumbai Control Victor Tango Sierra Hotel Romeo. Radio five. Mumbai Control. Mumbai Control. Victor Tango Jula Alpha Enki. Radio five. Mumbai control. Victor Tango Papa from India. Radio five. Victor Tango Mumbai. Victor Papa Delta. Radio five. Victor Tango Victor Papa Delta. Not a proper way to speak. We cannot start with our call sign. We should always take W one, which is the other person's call sign, and then our call sign. And then give our call, or give our call and then end with our call sign. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll, I'll. You have to retry it again. Mumbai control, Victor Tango, Victor Papa Delta, Radio Five. Hmm. Now that's how you do it. Mumbai control, Victor Tango, Papa Romeo Tango, Radio Five. How do you read? Victor Tango, Papa Romeo Tango, Mumbai Control, Radio Five. Radio Five, control. Strength Five. Victor Tango, Papa Romeo Tango. Mumbai Control, Victor Tango, Mike Sierra Lima. Radio Five. How do you see? Victor Tango, Mike Sierra Lima, Mumbai Control, Radio. Three. How do you read? Mumbai Control, Victor Tango, November India Kilo. Read you five. How do you read? Victor Tango, November India Kilo, Mumbai Control, read you five. How do you read? Read your call. Be careful. Yeah, please complete your call. Read you five. Strength five. Victor Tango, November India Kilo. Hmm. Yeah, students. Uh, sorry. Mm, focus on the call sign. Today it's Mumbai control. I can hear some people think it's Mumbai ground. Situational awareness. Okay, it's Mumbai control. Focus. Carry on, please. Finish your readability checks and please send me your logs. I'm not getting your logs. Mumbai Control, Victor Tango, Tierra Hotel Tango. Readability check, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. How do you read? Victor Tango, Sierra Hotel Tango. Mumbai Control, read you 5. How do you read? Radio 5, Strength 5, Victor Tango, Sierra, Hotel Tango. Mumbai Control, Victor Tango, Yankee, Mike Number. Readability check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. How do you read? Victor Tango. Correction, Victor Tango, Yankee Mike November. Mumbai Control, read you five. How do you read? Read you five, strength five. Victor Tango, Yankee Mike number. Roger, Mumbai Control. Mumbai Control, Victor Tango. Uniform Sierra Delta on one two one decimal liner readability check one two three four five five four three two one. How do you read? 
Victor Tango Uniform, Sierra Delta, Mumbai Control. Read you five. How do you read? Read you five. Strength five. Victor Tango Uniform, Sierra Delta. Roger. Victor Tango, Jula Alpha, Enki. One to one decimal niner. Pre flight radio check. One two three four five. Five four three two one. How do you read? Victor Tango Zulu Alpha Yankee. Mumbai Control. Read you five. How do you read? Radio 5, Strength 5, Victor Tango, Jula, Alpha, Anki. Mumbai Control, Victor Tango, Papa Romeo, India on 1, 2, 1, Decimal Liner. Readability check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. How? Do you read? Station calling Mumbai Control. Read you five. Say again, call sign. I say again. Mumbai Control. Victor Tango. Papa Romeo, India. Victor Tango, Papa Romeo, India. Mumbai Control. Confirm call sign Victor Tango, Papa Romeo, India. I say again Victor Tango, Papa Romeo, India. Victor Tango, Papa Romeo, India. Mumbai Control. Read you five. How do you read? Read you five, strength five, Victor Tango, Papa Romeo, India. Roger, Mumbai Control. Mumbai Control, Victor Tango, Alpha, Yankee, Kilo. Readability check, one, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. How do you read? Victor Tango, Alpha, Yankee, Kilo. Mumbai Control. Read you five. How do you read? Read you five, strength five, Victor Tango Alpha Yankee Kilo. Mumbai Control, Victor Tango, Victor Papa Delta on stand two on one two one decimal niner performing readability check. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. How do you read? Victor Tango, Victor Papa Delta. Mumbai Control, read you five. How read do you, you read? Read you five. Strength five. Victor Tango, Victor Papa Delta. Mumbai, control. Victor Tango, Papa Romeo Sierra. On 1 to 1 decimal minor. Readability check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. How? 
Victor Tango, Papa, Romeo, Sierra. Mumbai Control, read you five. How do you read? Read you five. Strength five. Victor Tango, Papa, Romeo, Sierra. Mumbai Control. Victor Tango, Mike Sierra Lima on one, two, five decimal niner. Readability check one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. How do you read? Victor Tango, Mike Sierra Lima, Mumbai Control. Read your five. How do you read? Read you five, strength five, Victor Tango, Mike Sierra Lima. Mumbai Control, Victor Tango, Sierra Hotel, Romeo, on one to one decimal niner. Readability check one, two, three, four. Five, five, four, three, two, one. How do you read? Victor Tango Sierra Hotel Romeo. Mumbai Control. Read your five. How do you read? Read you five. Victor Tango Sierra Hotel Romeo. Mumbai Control. Victor Tango, Victor Victor Sierra on one two one decimal niner. Readability check one two three four five five four three two one. How do you read? Victor Tango, Victor Victor Sierra, Mumbai control, read you five. How do you read? Read you five, strength five, Victor Tango, Victor, Victor, Sierra. So I guess everybody is done with their calls. Excellent calls. Anyone who's not done a readability check, remember the purpose. The purpose is to establish our internet connection, our connectivity with each other, my, my voice to you, your voice to me. Everything works well. As well as we get to practice, calls it's not always that you have to do just readability checks you can do any request calls also and you can practice those calls also with me like with couple of students i did say again call sign and things like that i'm expecting you all to write everything and then share your log with me so very warm welcome students just give me a second everybody just go through your notes from yesterday or just open up your books give me a second i am having some issue with the system here give me a minute i'm going to replace a device don't go anywhere else. Think about if you have any questions, put them in the chat box and just give me a second. I just need to replace the mouse and nothing else. Give me a minute or two, everyone. Okay, students, so I can do it while doing this also. Very warm welcome. It took a while. Uh, I was expecting you all to finish your readability checks within five minutes, 10 minutes. But I like you're going with good rate of speech. Uh, but still, I've not got all logs. So what's the matter? Everybody send me your logs. Please don't make me waste time in repeating the same instructions again and again. Okay. So we'll start with questions. Do you have any questions to ask from previous session, from your lectures, from your study sessions, any doubts or anything? Shijit, your call sign is okay. Sierra Hotel Tango. So I think that can be approved. So we can go ahead with that call sign for you. Please tell me what's on your mind. Do you have a question? 
Uh, yes, sir. I wanted to know exactly how do we make a cell call check call. What were you doing yesterday, Sujit? We did. Uh, sir, I was. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But I got to talk early and was not in the class, so I don't know. No, Sujit. Sorry, but read you one. Uh, uh sir. Read you two. How do you read now? Do proper readability checks, students, and write these calls. And where are smiling faces? I don't see smiling faces. I want you to experience the feel of a class. I'll tell you all one thing. Before pandemic, I was already giving online lectures to certain students who were not in the same city. I was going through a bad phase. Training them online was helping me. My motto to give the online session was simple, recreating a live classroom environment that I used to do for my students earlier. So I used to love spending time with my students in classroom and I was a young instructor, so I could relate with all students a lot. I got into teaching well before I thought to make this my full time, you know, mission or job or anything. I used to just do it because I was good at it. I could know. So I ensured that my online sessions are equal equal or better than a live classroom environment okay and that is why i'm able to help students when pandemic happened everybody was doing online online we didn't have to do anything i was just prepared before only so for me to maintain quality was easy because i am taking care of the quality nobody else i've not assigned managers or people on job to do that for me so i want to ensure that so all my instructor instructions that I give you are somewhere related to that only to maintain the quality, the quality of giving a lecture and you quality of learning a lecture. Now, Shrijit ko kal wo doubt nahi kyu samajh mein aaya. That's a big concern. Now I don't want to waste much time, but we already discussed an answer to that question with examples through the help of Vikram's doubt and Muskan and Shatta explaining and couple of students also doing that doubt. So here. I'm expecting CJ to rephrase his question. This is for everybody to understand that, okay, so far I know so much about cell call, but I do have some confusions. It cannot be that you know nothing about cell call. So instead of proving to the other person that after attending a three-hour class, I don't know something, I know a lot, but still I'm confused. This is what I know. Can you help me clarify so that I don't get confused? Learn to place your point like this or ask for something that you've already spent time with when it comes to groups, peers, instructors, seniors, management, so and so, so and so, so and so. So, Srijit, on the same lines, rephrase and ask your question again. Uh, sir, uh, like yesterday, I got an example of how to mm, phrase a mm, cell call. I mean, I understood how to make a cell call, mm, check call, but uh, I just had questions if uh, anything else was remaining and uh, just a question from that also only. Hmm. So be specific with your question. Yes, sir. What is it that you are willing to know? You know a lot. You are thinking if there is anything extra. So be specific about that point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. Waiting for you. Immediately. Rephrase and speak. Uh, sir, I just wanted to know if there is something else we had to know about cell call that we didn't... I mean, like, we learned yesterday and is there something else also to learn or is that enough that we learned yesterday only See, for sure there is a lot more that you can learn about cell call because you can learn into depth from an engineering perspective you can learn from a depth about the variants used and the way it's uh, enunciated in the cockpit right now so the more you learn the less it will be with respect to how much do you need to know about your RT exams, you are knowing more than that only with, with what we covered yesterday. Okay, sir. What you have done is enough. The point is that you have to come from that, sir. If you have to come from that, then you have to make sure that it is more than that. So all the points that you need to cover, you should have covered those points. Like, what is cell call? Why do we need it? Then what is this code? What are the letters in the code? What are the limitations? Why do we need it again? Then how does it work? What frequencies does it work? How does it work? It has an encoder and decoder. That is the technical part. Encoder is with the ATC. Decoder is on board the aircraft. 
encoder associated with the cockpit uh, with a keyboard with the ATC. That keyboard will have alpha to Sierra except I N O keys in a November Oscar, except of these three alpha to Sierra. The code is a set of two pairs of two letters each. Whenever ATC wants to talk to a particular aircraft, they should know their code and they should just feed in the code on the keyboard. The related aircraft will get an oral and visual notification and they can just simply connect with the ATC and talk to them. What happens at the end of the aircraft? All signals. Let's say I am putting in Alpha Bravo Charlie Delta and let's say Ayan has Alpha Bravo Charlie Delta. So all of y'all are flying in my vicinity because it's HF. Everybody will receive all HF signals. If Even if you are in Kashmir, I am in Trivandrum, you will still be able to receive the messages. That's how HF propagation works. So me putting Alpha Bravo Charlie Delta will sell, send the cell call signals to all of your aircrafts. All of the receivers on both the aircraft for cell call will have encoders, uh, decoders. They will decode the codes. So they will match the code with your aircraft code. If the codes match, only then you will be given oral and visual notification. This matching sometimes is confused with rejection of other codes. Does a receiver on board the aircraft reject the other codes? It doesn't reject the other codes. We are not making the system complicated. We have designed the system in such a way that only when the code matches that you get a oral and visual notification in the cockpit. If it doesn't match, you don't get any notification. There is no frequency rejection that happens. This is something that you need to know up to this point when it comes to cell call. In theory, cell call check when as a part of pre-flight check should be done first on secondary, then on primary. The cell call code should be told once on secondary. On primary, you don't have to say the code. You just have to ask them to dial in the code for you and you check whether you're getting oral and visual notification. You do first on secondary, then on primary. That's it. Anytime when you are flying, you will be tuned to primary frequency. That's when you might be required to do an airborne cell call check, which is only done on primary. It took me what? two minutes or one minute to summarize the entirety of cell call. I want you all to know whether you are thorough with it or not. Every second student can have this as a part of their question number one or question number two call as a part of a pre-flight check to be done in part one of the examination. Yes, up kal nahi padaya gaya, bachcha log. So this is how, you know, uh, we talk Ganpati all let students, did you not know this yesterday? My question is, Shrijit, big point. Kal ki class mein kya kiya, aad same cheez pe agar hum 10 minute dal rahe hain I don't mind doing it. I can do it n number of times. But is it necessary? If we focus enough on a lengthy session that we have and ensure all our questions are asked there and then, or maybe towards the end of the same day, then it is better for us. I want you all to be on your toes. I'm not criticizing anyone. अगर इतना नहीं कर रहे हो फिर भी क्वेश्चन है तो प्लीज पूछो पूछना जरूरी है कभी भी पूछो द मोर क्वेश्चन यू आर द बेटर विल बी योर लर्निंग सो श्रीजित नहीं पता था ये सब आपको या कुछ और पता है जो आप इनडायरेक्टली बोलना चाह रहे हो बोल नहीं पा रहे हो uh, नहीं सर अब थियरी एग्जैक्टली नहीं पता थी कल तक बस uh, एक कॉल पता था बस स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव नॉट फिनिश लेक्चर फोर्टीन यू मैसेज मी हाउ मेनी लेक्चर हैव यू अटेंडेड फॉर आर टी राइट नाउ Students who have finished lecture 14, you will tell me, finish lecture 14, and how far are you in part 2 lectures? Students who have done 14 but not started part 2 lectures will let me know, part 1 done, part 2 haven't started. Part 2, if you have started, you let me know where you are. Students who are done with all lectures and just doing revision will say, Sir, koi lecture ni attend kar rahe hai, saare ho gaye hai, batch ke, sif hum revision kar rahe Quickly send this update to me in real time. And end of the session, again, you will message me your exam dates and time. Okay. Remember that. Any more questions? Srijit, are you clear with the theory? Uh, affirm, sir. Uh, affirm, sir. Victor Tango Sierra Hotel Tango. Uh, affirm ka affirm ho raha hai, to you have to use the word correction. Students, Srijit, aapka bejo, how many lectures done? I want to see that. Everybody send it to me quickly. And I'm sending some personal chats to individual students. Please reply.
Muskan, please go ahead with your question. Now, what's a semicircular rule? Hmm. And Muskan, is there semicircular... any Sorry. Is there any possibility that it will be asked in part two? Yeah, it's rules of the air. Basic question. A regulations. आपने पढ़ा है मुस्कान कभी? Negative, sir. Victor Tango, Mike Sierra Lima. VFR, IFR पढ़ा है? Affirm. हाँ, तो उसमें हमने करा है ना semi circular rule. किसी को याद है class में? Please raise your hand. Let me see who all remember. हो सकता है मुस्कान यू आर जस्ट नॉट कनेक्टिंग द टर्म्स टुगेदर. Let me see. semi circular rule now i'll give you all a hint semi circular rule defines the flight levels for rvsm and non rvsm so cvsm flight levels and rvsm flight levels we have done a table muskan try to recall on a heading from 000 to 179er easterly headings we have odd or even one of them for vfr for ifr there is a table and for headings from 180 to 359er westerly headings we have either odd or even flight level so where is odd where is even that cannot be changed it means let's say you are going from mumbai to delhi let's say you are going at a direction of 007 these direction directions are all magnetic directions 007 will be easterly so as per the semi circular rule If it's odd, then you'll only fly odd. If it's even, you'll only fly even. What is odd? What is even? Let's see. So that's what the semicircular rule is all about. So let's say you are given an odd flight level three five zero, and for some reason you cannot maintain three five zero. So what do you do? You ask for a level change. Which level change would you ask for? If you are at odd, then you will stay at odd. So from three five zero, you can ask for three seven zero. Or you can ask for three three zero, something that we do in unable RVSM calls. Muskan, are we aware of these things or not? Affirm, sir. Victor Tango, Mike Sierra Lima. So that's what the semicircular rule is about. They show us the minimum separation for RVSM, which is one thousand feet for reciprocal traffic, and two thousand feet for traffic in the same direction. So the traffic in the same direction with the minimum separation of two thousand feet as per RVSM should maintain odd to odd. If they are following the odd headings and even to even, if they are following the even headings, now that's what semicircular rule is all about. Students, nobody knows about this. Nobody is raising their hand. Hmm? Students, talk to me. हाँ बोलो ना बोलो. Sir, I know about so, RVSM and CVSM, but not about the semicircular rule. बोल रहे हैं क्या? Yes, sir. Okay, RBSM, CBSM, बिना कौन जवाब दे रहे मुझे बच्चा कौन जवाब दे रहा है मुझे इंट्रोड्यूस तो करो अपने आप को विक्रम यस सर विक्टर टेंगो विक्टर विक्टर सियारा हम्म गुड थियरी विक्रम क्या बोल रहे थे तुम आरवीएसएम के बारे में पता है करेक्ट गुड जॉब ऑफ कोर्स सबको पता चलेगा सो या सेमी सर्कुलर रूल इज अ पार्ट ऑफ योर रूल्स ऑफ द एयर ओके तो रूल्स ऑफ द एयर uh rules of the air uh, students is a part of your booklet that i have shared with you iska aapko aise diagram milega you will be able to see a diagram like this okay and then we divide the diagram like this now this diagram is an example of directions on earth this is always your magnetic north pointed here with a half diamond you can say For all these semicircular rules, magnetic headings, all ground stations, we have magnetic directions. Only air traffic routes are true directions. 
So from here, if I go to the definition of directions, my directions are angular measurements measured clockwise from a reference, which is north. Everybody write this definition of directions. This is something you learn in navigation, but I want you all to have this information. What are directions? In simple words, directions are, I want you to write it verbatim what I'm giving you. Angular measurements measured clockwise from reference north. So which north? Here we have magnetic north. This is clockwise direction. We are looking at the earth from front view. So this part of the earth we're looking at from the front view. So this vertical line that I have actually can also be called as my polar axis or it can also be called as my, with respect to this diagram, it's my prime meridian. You don't need to get too much in depth other than understanding directions. So wherever your north is, if you have 90 degree angle made with north, so the direction that you get is east. Okay. East is the natural reference of directions. It's one of the interview questions that I ask for selection. Many students, almost nobody is able to answer. How do I know this is the reference? Because this is the direction in which the earth rotates naturally. So my angular measurement with respect to this half can be termed as Eastern Hemisphere. Now a hemisphere can also be spoken as semicircle. It's half of a circle, semicircle. So the semicircular rule is associated with this diagram with respect to all headings. All these headings that you can think about, let's say up to 179 us. So all these headings, 0, 0, 1 to let's say 180, or you'll see there's a variation, either 0, 0, 0 to 179 or 0, 0, 1 to 180. These will all be easterly headings like this. So any direction that is on the right of this 0, 0, 1 to 179 it can be said as easterly. Exact east is 0, 0900. Half of this east could be northeast. And this could be southeast, like this. So north, northeast, south, southeast is also a subsection of directions, like this. So 0, 0, 2, is it westerly or easterly? It is easterly because it is on the eastern hemisphere. 0, 0, 3, is it easterly, westerly? It is easterly. 0, 4, 5, easterly. 1, 8, 0, 1, 8, 0 is southern. It might come under westerly or easterly. We'll see in the document in Rules of the Air describing semicircular rule. So these headings, if your plane is flying on these headings as per your path, as per your route, then you have to follow a flight level as per the semicircular rule. The flight level dictation would be as per odd and even and then RVSM and VSM separations. Simple. This is how you are required to explain any answer given to you in your part to Viva. Nicely, take your time so that they ask you less questions and you give more correct answers. So I'll get you a couple of pointers in detail. Until then, if anybody can recall, please feel free to chip in if you are aware. Where is it even and where is it odd? Easterly even or easterly odd? Simple. Raise your hands or make calculated guesses. And every now and then, if you cannot see the screen, let me know. It should not be blurred and it should not be small. In case that happens, let me know. Muskan, are you getting clarity? Affirm, Victor Tango, Mike, Sarah, Lima. Are you able to recall anything? Affirm, sir. More questions, please. Keep your hands raised. Uset, share your viewpoints. Sir, easterly is odd and west. Easterly is odd, sir. Easterly is odd, Uset Bolra. Very good. Let's see. Odd or even. Anybody can share inputs? Sir, may I? 
Yes. The uh, easterly odd and westerly even. Victor Tango, Papa Romeo, India. Say again. Easterly uh, odd and westerly even. Victor Tango, Papa Romeo, India. Easterly odd. And uh, Usaid, what are you saying? Sir, easterly odd and westerly even. Okay. More inputs. Yes, uh, easterly uh, odd flight levels and westerly even flight levels. Victor Tango, Victor Victor. Again, Singh. easterly odd. Okay. So, easterly odd, we have two of Victor Papa Delta. Victor Tango, Victor Papa Delta. What is on your mind? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I think that's the same, sir. Easterly odd. Westerly. Abhi kal ka class nahi attend kya tha kya? Yesterday I told you all if you are giving a same answer, don't say it's the same answer. Sorry, sir. I haven't attended yesterday's class. Haan, so remember this. Whenever you are saying some answer that is same as the other person, don't say same as that person. Just give your answer. Afam, sir. Otherwise, your correct answer will never be marked as your correct answer. You are giving credit to the other person only. That too twice. So this is how we lose interviews and GDs. Remember, students. class You have to make sure it's your original answers. Awesome, sir. And check your personal chat, student. Reply. Whoever's got any message. Srijit, what's your input? Quick. Uh, sir, uh, on easterly heading, the flight levels will be odd. For example, flight level 110, 130, 150, etc. And for westerly heading, it will be even like uh, flight level 120, 140, etc. And for VFR flights, it will be 115 for East, 115, 135, etc. for uh, easterly heading. And for westerly heading, it will be 125, 145, 165, etc. Hmm. Okay. Kanishk? What's on your mind? Sir, when we fly East Delhi heading for IFR, we used to fly on odd flight levels. And for VFR, we are flying odd plus 500. And for West Delhi headings, we use uh, for IFR even flight levels. And for VFR, we use even plus 500 feet. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. We'll cross check. Victor Tango, Victor Papa Delta, please check your Zoom chat. Thoda software ka other dalo students. It's a very nice setup we have. And please reply karo. Victor Tango, Victor Papa Delta, please. I found, sir. Yeah. Students who don't get Hindi, just say sir English. Okay. Thoda baad Hindi mein bolte hai na, to de-stress wali feeling aati hai. Whenever you see me speak more in a little bit of Mumbai language like ye wo, I understand. So he's taking it easy and enjoy the session. Okay. Hmm. Muskan, more questions. Exams are here. Jo bhi hai, poocho. Khul ke poochna hai, students. Don't be shy. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Vara Prasad is also here. So we are going to do some interesting calls today. And it's going to be a quick thing. I'm going to give you the script. Students who have done just lecture 5, lecture 6, lecture 7, try to keep up. Whatever doubts you have, note it in your parking lot. Because for you, it might take a little more time to get to the high level of calls by lecture 9, lecture 10. So after 9 is what you actually get the whole big, big content is what I can say. But until then, whatever you study is very important for fundamentals. Uh, without, without which your calls will never be right. So yeah, don't be confused. The whole idea to allow uh, uh, to ask you or invite you in the live session is to only benefit you. If it doesn't benefit, then you can always leave and go and finish your lecture five, lecture six, lecture seven, eight, nine, and take your time. It's no compulsion for y'all who have not yet reached 14. Students who are at 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 can always attend and practice as much as they can. But don't panic in case you have not done lecture nine, 10, don't panic if you don't get something. Observe and try to pick up. Keep it there because eventually you will come across that. At least you can practice two, three calls with me today to see where you stand. Okay. And in order to help me finish things that I have planned in time, you have to respond quickly, students. Without acknowledgements, I will not be able to move ahead. If you don't understand, what is the benefit of your mental backlog? 
Okay. So that's it. Uh, all right. एक कंप्लेन है मेरी सब लोगों से क्या है ये कंप्लेन इस पे आज आप लोग सब लोग काम करोगे और मुझे शाम को अपडेट दोगे पहली चीज फर्स्ट थिंग येस्टरडे आई टोल्ड ऑल टू डू अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ रिसर्च ऑन दी आई काउ डॉक मैनुअल ऑफ रेडियो टेलीफोनी अ क्विक रैपिड फायर राउंड गो ऑन अनम्यूट एंड गिव मे दी आंसर वॉट्स द डॉक्यूमेंट नंबर फॉर मैनुअल ऑफ आर टी शुड बाई आई काउ डोंट गो थ्रू द बुक मेंटली Check your ability Doc, whether you can. Nine four three two. Nine document nine four three two. Victor Tango Papa Romeo. Document nine four three two. Victor Tango Siam Papa Romeo. इसको by heart कर लो आप क्योंकि ये कल का काम है. By heart it today because it's yesterday's job. If you still don't know it, then you are not doing what you are supposed to do. आगे backlog बढ़ेगा और आप loss में रहोगे. Just saying. I don't want you to be at loss. So let's do the right thing. Document nine four three two. Yesterday, I think one time I said nine three four two. Nobody corrected me. Towards the end, I'm very upset with these things. क्या चल रहा है मतलब मैं भाषण दूंगा और आप लोग सुनोगे एक वोट के लिए वो तो नहीं चल रहा ना यहाँ पे. If I'm giving you freedom to keep your videos off and enjoy, it doesn't mean you will miss out on what I say. नहीं तो वही सर डाउट है रिपीट नहीं हो रहे डाउट है रिपीट नहीं हो रहे फिर मेरे डाउट सॉल्व नहीं हो रहे फिर आपको आएगी कंप्लेन्स आई विल नॉट एंटरटेन द कंप्लेन्स इफ इट्स योर मिस्टेक इन क्लासरूम राइट नाउ आई विल नॉट एंटरटेन इट इजीली बिकॉज वहां आपकी लर्निंग नहीं होगी डाउट सॉल्व भी हो जाएगा वो एक क्वेश्चन के लिए होगा कॉन्सेप्ट के लिए नहीं होगा फिर सो बेटर रिमेंबर ओनली सुचिता गॉट बैक टू मी सर लेटेस्ट वर्जन वॉल्यूम फोर ही है टू इश्यू का I cross-checked it, and this is my reference. I wanted everybody to do it. Another task I had given you was check the manual thrice during the day after the session. Bali, does this minute kill only even if you do it for ten minutes, and then give me a feedback towards the end of the day. Nobody gave me the feedback apart from her. Is she the only one who's passionate? Are you not passionate? Do you not want to study? Second thing, I have informed everyone. Book one and book two, generally RT book one and book two, one with definitions, one one with rules of the air. Everybody should be well versed with it. How many of actually read it? कौन कितना पढ़ता है अब पता चल जाएगा. हम्म कैसे? दिखाता हूँ मैं आपको. अभी समझ लो सर क्या इशारा कर रहे हैं. बाद में टाइम नहीं मिलेगा मैंने बोला आप लोगों को बार बार प्रवचन एंड ज्ञान नहीं दूंगा मैं स्पेशली टुवर्ड्स योर एग्जाम्स ये आपका फोल्डर कल दिखाया था मैंने हम्म ये रही रूल्स ऑफ द ईयर वाली बुक फर्स्ट वी आर क्लिकिंग ऑन इट दिस इज कॉल्ड आर टी बुक वन Check here. Check the index. Yeah. IFR table of cruising levels. This this page forty. Something wrong with the mouse. I have two, but both are not working well. But we can manage. Check this out. The last pages. Okay. You can see the collection of notes is made in slight desperation, but the content is here. Okay. Now check. Read this. R V S M from zero zero to one seven nine R. So the eastern directions are from zero 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 to one seven nine R. Make a note of it in our diagram. It's not from zero zero one to one eight zero. It's from zero zero zero. To one seven nine R, okay. IFR flight levels and VFR flight levels are given to you. You can check your IFR flight levels in feet, and you can see these are all odd numbers or even numbers. The same you can check from westerly. That is one eight zero two three five nine R. What? Are the levels that you will have in 
meters and in feet. So we check in feet. So for IFR, for VFR, for RVSM, how much do we have? Okay. If we carefully look at it, we get an explanation of this on the first page also. The cruising levels to be observed when so required by this civil aviation requirements are as follows. RVSM is in feet. In areas where feet are used and so and so, flight level 2900 to flight level 410, these are your RVSM restrictions. Your RVSM airspace starts from flight level 2900 to 410. Only there you can have this operation of 1000 feet and 2000 feet. So cross check your odd and even. So check this out. Your feet and flight level starts from here. Easterly is odd. All flight levels are odd. 0900, 110, 130. So this is where you actually see the first column. And then you see the first column. That's it. So please make a note of it. The semicircular rule for RVSM states all easterly headings will have odd flight levels. And a separation of 1000 feet will be only from flight level 2900 to flight level 410. Otherwise, the separation will be 2,000 and 4,000 feet. That will be CVSM. Semicircular rule describes my easterly headings or headings with or tracks with directions 0, 0, 0 degrees to 1,790 degrees will have odd flight levels. And tracks from 180 degrees to 3,590 degrees will have even flight levels. So that's what semicircular rule is all about for IFR. For VFR also, like Kanish explained, you can explain. Simple. Check flight level. That's it. So flight level, flight level. That's it. Flight level, flight level. You won't be asked in meters. You can be asked in feet. So you should know. Uh, what, what do we say? You should know the conversion of flight level into feet. Everyone thorough with semicircular rule? It's important. Yes. Can it be asked to you in part two viva? Yes. Will it be important in theory for part one? Probably yes. Of course, it's rule of rules of the air. Rules of the air is what we are basing all our calls and intents upon. Bina rules of the air, ke, without rules of the air, your RT syllabus would not exist. If you want to crack RT, first crack or first thoroughly study rules of the air for which the book one is given to you to read as the course of your studies or duration of RT proceeds. And then you can always check with me for doubts. Part if you don't understand something. So how many of you all have a habit of going through these notes properly? If it happens, then at least 5-6 people give me an answer. You could have given me an answer, students. And I'm really upset that you're not reading what you're supposed to read and wasting time. Exam time, you don't get time for reading exam time. So firstly, you're not following tasks. You're not giving me your updates. Secondly, you're not reading the materials. And thirdly, Class mein thoda bahut focus aap log miss kar rahe ho. In chaaro cheezo pe kaam karo, please. Theek hai? As we go ahead, these problems should reduce, not increase. I'll give you some time. I'm not going to be super strict. But do not do that, okay? Anybody wants to say why you didn't follow the update task? Koi jawab de sakta hai? Kyun nahi kiya kal? Manual of RT research kyun nahi kiya kal? Konsa edition latest nahi bataya? Kitna manual of RT padaya wo nahi bataya? Kisi ne update nahi diya? Lecture khatam hone ke baad sab chutti manane chale gaye lag raha mujhe. It's a RT class. I would suggest if we, we avoid silence. And we spend the time in practicing. Simple. 
this is the basic requirement that you need. Okay. And how to convert flight level into thousands of feet? I want you all to give me your answers in the Zoom chat box to this question. Okay. Everybody will give me an answer. This is question number two, right? Question number two and then answer in the Zoom chat, not WhatsApp. Ad. Convert flight level to feet. Okay. There are four examples you have to solve. Ek saath answer dena hai, kikar ki nahi dena. Give all answers in one chat only. If that that will be better. In the Zoom chat. So Kuldeep is giving me a strategy. Mm, okay, that could work. Mm, Niharika has given me answer to flight level 210 earlier. Okay, good. All right. Done, students. It should not take a while. Mm, Vara Prasad, tell me. Answer for flight level 350 verbally. Sir, it's uh, 35,000 feet. 350, 100 feet. 35,000 feet, or you said 350, 100 feet. Awesome. This is not the right way to pronounce. 35,000 feet for a layman could be said, but in RT, we cannot say 35. 35 is not a number in RT. So this I will take as layman answer, but not RT answer. This I will not take because 350, 100 feet is not how we learn to speak. Can you fix your answer? Three five thousand feet. Exactly. Now that is the correct way to read this number. Good job. So, Bharat Prasad, before you give an answer, cross check whether the answer is correct or not in your mind, and then give the answer. This cross checking sometimes will tell you it's a correct answer. Sometimes you will know it's not a correct answer. You will prevent yourself from giving a wrong answer. So, thirty five thousand feet in RT, three five thousand feet for flight level three five zero. Correct. Good job. FM, sir. Hmm. Students, only we are 17 in class and I've got only eight answers. Teko,ma'ko,aagya,gusa,ma'ko,classe,kar,dunga,ba,bura,lagega,apko,bas,kyo,ma,ap,fir,me,time,waste,kara,oge,me,se,nam,dunwa,oge,kis,ne,reply,
थ्री वन फाइव जीरो जीरो फीट Not exactly the way I am expecting you to speak in RT. फिर भी correct है, better than giving a wrong answer. That is a better way to correct this answer. कैसे read करोगे इसे? Thirty one thousand five hundred feet. Thirty one के RT में number है? Three three one thousand five hundred feet. Three one thousand five hundred feet is also partially correct. There is much more better way to say this number. Three one thousand five hundred feet. चल जाता है in some cases we can say, but that is not even accurate. How do we read this? Only one way is left. That is the correct way. Ayan, it's your question. Quick. So I'm unable to recall it, sir. Not allowed. You have to give an answer. तुम्हें हिंट मिल रही है तुम्हें सामने से बताई जा रहे हैं ऑलरेडी बाल प्रसाद आंसर दे चुका है या वेटिंग थ्री वन फाइव हंड्रेड फीट सर थ्री वन फाइव हंड्रेड फीट इज बाय द बुक कैन बी एक्सेप्टेड एक्सैक्टली दैट्स इट अब बोलो क्या बोल रहे हो अनेबल टू आंसर ये किसने दिया आंसर किसी बाजू वाले ने बताया तुम्हें नहीं सर तो कहां से आए आंसर स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू डोंट रिप्लाई हाउ विल द कॉन्वर्जेशन मेक सेंस कहां से आया आंसर आया ना सर uh, तो मैंने ऐसे ही गेस किया है सर तो गेस गेस से ज्यादा इसको डिडक्शन बोल सकते हैं मेंटल डिडक्शन आप लोगों को खुद को नहीं पता आपके स्किल सेट क्या है सब है दिमाग में यू हैव टू रिट्राइव इट दिस इज हाउ यू सॉल्व सच एग्जाम्स हाउ मेनी टाइम्स हैव सेट दिस इन क्लास तुम्हारे पास है तुमने पढ़ा है जस्ट बिलीव इन योर सेल्फ पुश योर सेल्फ टू रिकॉल वॉट यू हैव स्टडी इट्स नॉट अ गेस वेन इट्स करेक्ट एग्जाम में मैं आऊंगा पुश करने तो करेक्ट आंसर दे दोगे मैं नहीं आऊंगा तो गलत आंसर दे दोगे ये क्या बात हो गई ट्रेनिंग में सिखा रहे हैं खुद को पुश करना स्टूडेंट्स पुश योर सेल्फ वार प्रसाद अन यू कैन नॉट स्टे एट फिनिश लाइन एंड नॉट क्रॉस द फिनिश लाइन यू विल नॉट गेट द रिवॉर्ड्स दिस इज नॉट स्पीकिंग बियॉन्ड म्यूट ओके फ्लाइट लेवल वन फाइव फाइव विक्टर पापा डेल्टा आई यू आई डू हैव अ क्वेश्चन विक्टर पापा डेल्टा नेगेटिव सर नॉट नो क्वेश्चन Hmm. Who will answer flight level one five five? Quick, Yamuna. This question is to you. For flight level one five five, it would be one five five hundred feet with perfect. the Tango Yankee mic number. Perfect. Simple, quick, perfect. Good job, Shatta. Flight level two three three. For flight level two three three, the answer is two three three hundred feet. Two three three hundred feet or two three three zero zero feet, both can be allowed. Hundred will get more points. All this you can revise going through the first few pages of your manual of RT. If you don't want to revise through your lecture three four five six seven, where we have built up all the basics, one two also included. Flight level zero six five. I need volunteers. Kuldeep, कब से बैठे हो मुझे आंसर बताओ इसका नहीं तो तुम बोर हो जाओगे एक्टिव नहीं मुंबई कंट्रोल किलो करेक्शन किलो यूनिफॉर्म आंसर इज जीरो सिक्स फाइव हंड्रेड जनरली हर आई वॉन्ट यू ऑल टू फोकस कुलदीप बाय द बुक आपने रूल फॉलो किया है अप्रिशिएटेड आंसर परफेक्ट नहीं है और करेक्ट भी नहीं है ध्यान रखना इन चीजों का हमें दिस इज एक्टली वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू लीड विद दीज लिटल एग्जाम्पल्स ओके फ्लाइट लेवल जीरो सिक्स फाइव जनरली हाउ डू वेन डू वी रिफर ऑल्टीट्यूड इन फ्लाइट लेवल एंड वेन डू वी रिफर ऑल्टीट्यूड इन वट डू वी से थाउजेंड्स ऑफ फीट सो इट मैटर्स विद अ पॉइंट कॉल ट्रांजेशन ऑल्टीट्यूड ओके सो एवरी एयरपोर्ट 
has an ATC tower, has a runway and everything. And it has a minimum altitude called transition altitude, TM. Below this altitude, all altitudes will be in feet. Above this will be in flight level. Okay. So any plane going up will change from feet to flight level. This is called pressure setting. So here they can change from uh, any setting that we are using real time Q codes and change it to the ISA setting of standard atmosphere. Any landing aircraft does the reverse. From flight level, they change to feet like this. Firstly, so wherever you have a transition altitude, let's say 4,500 feet. So any aircraft below 4,500 feet will be reporting their altitude in thousands of feet. Any aircraft above 4,500 feet will be reporting their altitude in flight level. Okay. So if I have flight level 065, it means it's above my transition altitude. Simple. So probably my transition altitude could be 5,000, 4,000. There on your departure charts. In places like the US, the transition altitudes can go up to flight level 100. 10,000 feet, 10,000 0, feet in RT. 10 is 10. Sometimes it can go to 140 also. In India, most of the transition altitudes are somewhere in the range of 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, maximum 6,000. It depends from country to country. Okay. 065 flight level, if I have to repeat or transmit in thousands of feet, would be 6,500 feet. Okay. So Kuldeep, the way you said it by the book, you were going correctly, but there are specific thousands and hundreds that are to be read in a simpler way when you have single digit and whole numbers. So this 6500 can be said as 6500 feet, the basic thing. That's the better way to report it in feet compared to 06500 feet like this. Flight level 065 is important. But when I say it in thousands of feet, 6500, 6500 or 6500. 6500 is the first thought thing in RT. 6500 is second, 6500 is third. Bo all three are correct. The most appropriate would be 6500 for these whole numbers, single digit numbers. Others all individual digits and then thousands and hundreds as they go. students. This is why I'm telling you. Take time, make it a habit, every day, 15 minutes, go through the basics of RT, the first few pages of the manual. If you all want, I will also mark the pages of the PDF. It's better to remind yourselves of about them every day for 10 minutes till the time it is permanently automatically stored in your mind. By the way, the whole diagram of transition altitude and the whole diagram of, uh, what do we say? Your uh, Q codes is also there in one of your books. Okay. Quickly. And please talk to me, students. Where is the book? Wait. Any more questions? Think about it. Anybody who got the answers incorrectly? Abhi Jino ne bhi mujhe answers. Numericals me diya hai. Like. 06500 feet, 2330 feet. How am I supposed to know how have you read the answers? Okay, so type karna chahiye tha na aapko. But theek hai, as long as you have understood. Prakhar ne 6500 likha hai, so I can say he meant 6500 feet. I can try to understand. I think uh, Vik Vikram also did that. Vikram has been lazy in answering though. Question numbers near Ale, but I can understand the sequence. Fine. Chalo. Do you have any more questions, students? Ab transition altitude ke baad nikli hai. If we are talking about transition altitude, then I just want you all to get thorough with this point also. Especially examination students. Uh, so what's the minimum transition altitude in India? There is no such fixed. But I think what we have seen is 3,500 somewhere, I guess. But uh, it, it changes. So you'll have to see uh, for a specific aerodrome. I think 3,500 is not in each other. And I think the 
presently assigned i think it's 4500 i'm not sure but that these are the numbers and what about the maximum transition altitude mm koi limit nahi hoti hai maximum ki but in india i think it's about flight level 60 or something so upar gaya nahi hai transition altitude from what i have seen in the past so where i'm not sure if i recall what you can do is uh See, transition altitudes can also change, subject to change over the long period of time. So there will be always updates coming in. But uh, your standard instrument departure SID charts and your standard arrival charts. If you can get your hands on the latest charts from someone working in the field, then you will be able to spot the transition altitude for that particular aerodrome. So that's your source. you won't find it anywhere else apart from an aip issued by dgcs so if you could get your hands on an aip maybe which has all the charts then you can find out and then come up with the information students if you are asked for some questions which are you know descriptive then always describe it with the best of your capacities in the exam that's where you are judged you are not judged on one word answers because if you clear part 1 and don't clear part 2 it will hurt you a little more because part 2 should be easy compared to part 1 it's just basic viva anybody wants to add into the question and answers please feel free to do so and students please talk to me okay it has to be interactive so can i add a point yeah please so so uh, so the height of the transition altitude is uh, fixed for each aerodrome by the state mm. and uh, the lowest uh, transition altitude in, in india is 4000 feet sir mm -hmm. bachcha log apna call sign bhi bolna hai okay victor tango sir and delta the that reference सर आप आपने जो नोट्स दिए थे ना उसमें उसमें से मैंने नोट डाउन किया एंड आपने लेक्चर में भी बोलते थे मैंने इट लाइक इट्स इन माय हैंड रिटर्न नोट्स हम्म हम्म तो अनन एवरेज 4000 3500 4500 4000 सो यू सी दिस इज हाउ यू डिस्क्राइब आंसर्स इट इट पुट्स अप इन प्लेसेस वेयर यू हैव टू बी डिस्क्रिप्टिव यू बी डिस्क्रिप्टिव वेयर यू हैव टू बी uh specific then you get on to a specific answer okay students raise your hands whoever has started reading the abbreviations quickly sir i have another doubt stand by students uh, do this needful how many of you all have done abbreviations so prerit siddhar muskan priyanka and kanesh only chalo i appreciate your honesty everybody will have a look at the abbreviation booklet today and report me who is not raising their hand just let it be i'll just take a picture but ye sab mehnat mat karo please theek hai you are smart and you are adults to aapko bola hai to khud se kar lena aur nahi kiya to fir dekh lena aap log If you don't follow these instructions, then you are missing out on something in your preparation. All the time, this will go away. Ah, uh, sir. So. Yeah, please tell me, uh, sir. As per the 2017 AIP, the highest flight level for transition altitude is flight level two three zero. It is Buntar, mm -hmm. and uh, the lowest is four thousand feet, but it is uh, scattered between airport to airport, mm -hmm. as I have seen right now. Mm -hmm. Good, good. अच्छा लग रहा है सुन के. Sir, I have something to add on. Mm -hmm. Sir, in our uh, book twelve of RT part two viva book, mm -hmm. uh, there it is mentioned uh, lower transition altitude altitude is four thousand feet. But uh, 
for a highest it is not mentioned hmm students on the zoom meeting chat i am uploading a file aip india and uh, ayan good job in sharing um uh, aap thoda dekho aip is called an article information publication information of lasting character so information is exchanged through a lot of ways ais nx15 nx15 very important part to viva question there are no times there are pibs bulletins there are annexures there are uh, what aips no times and a couple of things how information is exchanged what i'm sharing with you is a pdf of an aip india which will show you all relevant information you can use it for your reference okay second thing i will be sharing first the screen to show you an access of the transition altitude and all read this this booklet is part to viva questions okay part to viva book one in this only you go to about page number 16 victor tango so page number 16 yeah actually the mouse now not working so i'm troubling with the scale uh, scroll so see you start with this ultimate setting based questions including ta that is transition altitude and tl that is transition level generally tl is transition layer and not level it's a layer of 500 feet before you reach the transition altitude this layer is the layer where manually you can keep yourself busy into making the altimeter subscale settings it's a daily job agar daily aap take off loge as a pilot for every flight then daily you'll also be doing multiple pressure setting changes for that one flight okay ground studies you don't do practical stuff but you learn about the practical stuff so what is the purpose of an altimeter you will read okay then we we describe about pressure setting this diagram is one of from our textbooks only reference is given to you what it measures what it doesn't measure how the flight levels are separated and all is given and then you have your basic three q codes okay be with thorough with this field elevation arp qnh isa reduced to mean sea level and qne when your subscale is set to 1013 so standard pressure level setting so see qne is use is the usual setting above the transition altitude so this is what you change to once you are taking off and crossing the transition altitude before transition altitude you could have qfe or qnh based upon what the requirement is most of the times you will have qfe to have proper uh, terrain clearance from airports taki ground pe aao to aapko zero mila aisa अगर एडरूम के आसपास के सी लेवल से वर्टिकल ऑल्टीट्यूड देखना है इफ यू वांट टू सी अ वर्टिकल ऑल्टीट्यूड और वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम एरोड्रोम मीन सी लेवल रियलिस्टिक नॉट आई एस देन यू गो फॉर क्यू एन एच इफ यू वांट टू रीड जीरो व्हेन द एयरक्राफ्ट इज ऑन ग्राउंड देन यू पुट क्यू एफ एंड वेन यू क्रॉस द फ्लाइट लेवल ड्यूरिंग आफ्टर टेक ऑफ देन यू सेट क्यू एन ई अच्छे से पढ़ना है और इसको मास्टर करना है एंड देन डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ ट्रांजिशन ऑल्टीट्यूड लेवल एंड लेयर इज ऑल्सो गिवेन टू यू so the change in reference from altitude to flight levels when you are climbing you do it at transition altitude when descending you do at transition level these things should not confuse you this level can also be said as layer remember that put an asterisk or else you'll be confused but these are the specific words transition level transition altitude level will be the point where you start flight levels altitude will be the point where you start or end altitude so the end point could be level the start point could be altitude whatever the difference is this text will tell you these are just key points and maine khud se likha for you all to make sense so it's just like sir talking to you second thing if there's any typo or mistake please bring it to my attention so that i can up update and upload an updated version in place of this sometimes you'll see some typo errors are there ये डायग्राम भी है देख लेना है what is layer what is level transition altitude the lower part of the layer is transition altitude the upper part of the layer is transition level and the middle part is transition layer this is very important only 10% of all students that you will come across will be able to give you this accuracy in answers and check this out lowest transition altitude in india is 4000 feet okay 
So today's task is this, master this concept, master semicircular rule, okay, and all the pressure change things. And uh, I'll just show you the AIP before I share the AIP with you. And feel free to ask your questions. I have a question. Stand by. Check this out. AIP is a nautical information publication. Okay, how to decipher an AIP? Now, this is available online thanks to technology. Uh, earlier, so hard copies. The and ENR is en route. Okay, so 1.7. So, AIP for en route flights is what the whole AIP is about. 1.7 is the section, 1 decimal 7. So, see, I'll just read a few points. I just want you all to know how to access it so that you don't have Okay, pura list bhi diya. So, what I'm saying to Kuldeep is that you have to access it. Actually, I'm giving you all the documents to access. So, you believe that what you're saying is that it's going to happen. Okay? You don't know why you don't think that we should do that. This is a serious issue, okay, students, with good students also. So, the automatic setting procedures in use within FIR regions of Chennai, Delhi, Guwahati, Kolkata and Mumbai generally confirm to those contained in DOC 4444. This regulations is a good question to remember. Pans ATM is Procedure for Air Navigation Services, Air Traffic Management. If you don't know the full form, you don't know the RT preparation. If you don't know the full form, it means you don't, your preparation is not thorough. Part 2, Section 12 is fine. You don't need to remember that. What is Transition Altitude? It is for all aerodromes as per this table. They are also indicated in the instrument approach charts. Something I referred, SID and STAR star charts. So approach charts will have that. QNS reports and temperature, uh, temperature indication, terrain clearance, they will be provided in meteorological broadcast. They mean ATIS and DATIS in this case. And is also available on request from air traffic service units. QNS values will be given at the lower of the whole HPA. Generally, we round it off to the higher but this is an important point. When you are doing QNH settings, you will lower your HPA rounding off to the lower values. Now, this is something you can always add to your notes, putting two, three stars that this is something that can keep you ahead of other people. This is something that not everybody will know. Then, we go ahead a little bit and come to the data that we are looking for directly. And uh, a transition altitude is specified for each, each aerodrome. No altitude is less than 4,000 feet. So we have accuracy in answer. When you don't remember accuracy, you can give uh, average range. But your average comes to the correct answer then. From here, I would want you all to read, but see this point. Somebody, uh, what do we say? Uh, what is that word, students? I'm losing some words these days. Initiative ko le sakta hai to read this point for the class. Volunteer. So I won't say volunteer. I'll say who's proactive to read it. Quick. Uh, vertical positioning of aircraft when at or below the transition altitude is see expressed jay, in terms of parliament me kuch ne de rahe hai. Thara energy use karo agar aap puri class ko bol rahe ho to. Okay, sir. Hmm. Uh, vertical positioning of aircraft when at or below the transition altitude is expressed in terms of altitude where such positioning at or above the transition level is in terms of flight levels. Very good. Now, class... students, stop. Uh, thank you. Students, ye na ye. Uh, below transition altitude can be a fill in the blank. In terms of altitude can be a fill in the blank. And at or above transition level can be a fill in the blank. In terms of flight level can be a fill in the blank. In question number five. Or this could be a trick question in part two viva. Very important thing. Question number five in part one could be like fill in the blanks most of the times. So this is a very important statement. Make sure you all know. Uh, Prerit, read this point. Second one. While passing through the transition layer, Vertical positioning is expressed in terms of altitude when descending and in terms of flight level when ascending. 
when passing through the layer your vertical positioning is expressed in terms of altitude when descending ab niche aa rahe ho transition layer pass kar rahe ho to aap altitude mein refer karoge something we spoke about and whenever you are in transition layer and you are going up you can report your flight levels in flight level so koi bolta hai agar transition layer mein how would you transmit do you transmit in altitude do you transmit in flight level it can be a trick question you will be like sir ye to aapne sikhaya nahi ab lunga aap seekh lo aap agar descend kar rahe hain to altitude mein climb kar rahe hain to flight level mein simple even in transition layer otherwise you will have some smart chaps who have not studied but they think they know they will say aisa kuch nahi hota layer mein kuch nahi bolnega chup rehne ka there will be some people who will say you don't transmit anything but you say if i'm climbing flight level if i'm descending altitude simple so i'm sharing this with you all take a look at this aip everyone and uh, i am so frustrated with the mouse students i don't like it when gadgets don't work the way they are supposed to work slow ho jati hai cheez hai waise hi okay okay what's wrong all right students any questions about this aip think pura padhna hai isme kafi kuch rules hain jo aapke rtr part 1 ke logs mein aapko kaam aayenge examples also they have given to you check this point procedure applicable to operators 3.1 3.11 3.2 and all okay and see you are having transition altitude for all airports to 4000 kis kis ko aap dekh sakte ho sabse zyada koi spot karte hain kulu kulu manali kulu you know north mountain region transition altitude bahut zyada hai 23000 feet anything near to 23000 feet what is the second highest transition altitude that we have as per this aip i see 13000 feet That's it. Uh, sir, three number twenty thousand feet. Twenty thousand feet to two zero thousand feet. How do you read twenty thousand feet in RT students? Two zero thousand feet. Ah, uh, sorry, sir. Correction. Two thousand. Ah, uh, two zero thousand feet. Hmm. Very good. Yeah, Sri Nagar. सबसे कम किस किस का है? Four thousand में है वारंगल, विजयवाड़ा, वडोदरा, वाराणसी and everything. सब अपने अपने city का देख लेना आपको मैं भेज रहा हूँ तो मुझे message करना आप लोग. आपके नियरेस्ट सिटी के एरोड्रोम का ट्रांजिशन आई थिंक विशाखापट्टनम चार सौ होगा चार चार हजार होगा फोर थाउजेंड वाइज सेवन थाउजेंड इट्स मोर ओके स्टूडेंट्स पढ़ लो अच्छे से कुछ डाउट्स रहेगा पूछना किसी भी स्मार्ट स्टूडेंट को पता है ये ए में बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन है जो हर जगह एप्लीकेबल है I'm sharing it with you now. Who? Okay. Check Zoom chat, everyone. Let me know if you have received the PDF. Save it in your phones. Ayan, thank you. I'm looking for the guy. Ayan, one thing I like about Ayan is he's very proactive and he's very, very hardworking. Okay, students. Any questions? remember semi circular rule little techniques remember transition altitude q codes remember the importance of your rules of the air in the first place aap log ne ab tak nahi padha hai padhna hai remember to follow tasks and report those tasks also remember to go through abbreviations okay i'll take a few calls a few questions we'll take a short break and then start with our calls uh, muskan tell me what's on your mind Sir, why few aerodromes don't have the transition altitude like Tezu? Sorry, say again. Speak slower. Why few aerodromes don't have the transition altitudes? कहाँ पे पढ़ा है कि नहीं होता है वहाँ पे? Sir, it's not mentioned in that AIP. That's why I'm asking. Where, like zero, दिखाएगा AIP में? Negative, nothing. It's blank. 
जहां पे भी ब्लैंक है ना मोस्टली दो एयरपोर्ट विल बी शेयर विद सम अदर एयरपोर्ट और मे बी दे आर यू नो मे बी नॉट ऑपरेशनल सो अगर यहाँ पे ब्लैंक है लाइक आई कैन सी चकुलिया इज ब्लैंक बट चकुलिया 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 थ्री प्लेसेज वी हैव सो दैट्स एक्चुअली वन प्लेस दे हैव मैं एंड इफ आई चेक दीसा इज अ प्लेस ओके दर इज अ प्लेस कॉल डी ए पी ए आर आई जेड ओ इट डजेंट हैव सो वी शुड चेक द लिस्ट प्रॉपरली एज टू वाई एंड देन वी शुड लुक अप एंड सी वॉट्स रॉन्ग विद दर्ट इज इट फंक्शनल और नॉट probably see ludhiana doesn't have so probably either they are sharing the airport two airports are sh- being shared somewhere or maybe the airport is taken care by defense probably or something sir just like lay just like lay yes so maybe these transition altitudes will be given to you in real time also no specific fixed good eye muskan so you keep your options open with such situations Hardly how many Tezu, Ratnagiri, anybody living there can always inquire. Then Leh, then Malda, Ludhiana. I'm just looking at the AIP. Everybody has it, so you, I don't need to share it on the screen. I hope you are going through it, students. Kamalpur, then Chakulia is a place. I've not been to Chakulia yet. Bhuvaneshwar is a place. Uh, no, not Bhuvaneshwar. Chakulia only Bhuvaneshwar has. So that's on that's it only these few airports don't have it anybody who has free time doing a little bit of r&d please share your observations are you understanding the whole concept what we are doing kuldeep samajh aa raha hai aapko of form so with the time of the form in now hmm students who are not interacting not talking not asking questions what is happening with y'all all good okay so we'll take a break after we come from the break i'll be teaching you about important calls with respect to the aerodrome those calls will be a refresher for some a first time call for some based upon requests for take off and landing amidst other things okay so make sure you're fresh make sure you're learning quickly and make sure you're ready to practice also okay so kanish i'm just saying i'm giving you all a short break after the break we'll be doing aerodrome calls with respect to take off landing it will be a good refresher and final refresher about these calls okay so everybody see me at One two five zero. I'm giving you fifteen minutes break and one minute extra. Come back on time and we'll get started. Any questions you will have, then just put it in the chat box. Personally send to me on the Zoom chat on the host account. I'll see you all in fifteen minutes, students. Enjoy your break. Be fresh and come back.
ऐसा क्यों हो रहा है
Okay, students, welcome back. I hope everyone is back. If you're back, let me know and you can turn on your videos. You can let me know through a thumbs up. You can let me th know through a chat. So, pata chalaya kaun nahi aaya. So, yeah, students, we start slow. We start casually, informally, a little bit to get used to things, and then we pick up our pace and reach towards utmost professionalism. This approach really helps. So, I hope I can see that in your calls. We have a couple of questions uh, that uh, during climbing, do some reason if we are already deviated from our flight plan and then suddenly we see a group of birds in front of us, then what do what should we do? Have to maintain that flight plan or again have to change? Of course, you cannot allow yourselves to go on the path where you have birds ahead you have to deviate so the deviation firstly if it's immediate then could be as per your discretion depending upon where you are if you are on the takeoff leg then you know the min maximum deviations you can have would be only 15 degrees to the left up to a certain point if you are clear from that certain point then higher level of deviations are allowed and we can imagine that by the time your first deviation was done with respect to this question, by the time second deviation is arising, if you are a minimum DME distance outbound and you have reached a minimum altitude and above because it will be a climbing phase, then you'll get more deviations. So if you think the birds are coming from the right to the left, then probably you might want to go away from there, maybe go on the right if they are coming from the right to the left or maybe increase your altitude a little bit. You won't decrease, of course, if it's initial climb. Those are the couple things. If not, then you can completely change your route to avoid them in, in touch with ATC. You will not do much of self-deviations in the vicinity of the aerodrome otherwise. And earlier, if you have deviated on your own, you ensure uh, informing about that to the ATC and ATC has your their approval for that. Otherwise, you will be putting yourself and other people at threat if you continue with that deviation without informing. So yeah. we are at uh, two uh, two thousand six hundred feet about. Same thing, same things. Then same sir, thing. uh, it would be a media call or pen pen. No, nothing like that. Normal call. If you want to avoid birds, you need basic deviation. It's not a media. It's not a pan pan. If you get a bird hit and if you have structural damage, then it becomes media call altogether. If you see a flock of birds and you just need to avoid them, it's a normal call. It's not even a pan-pan call. Once you get a bird hit, then it could be a pan-pan or a mayday call, students. Okay. Any more questions? All right. Let me know. Okay. Beforehand only. Uh, uh, sir, I had a question, sir. Please go ahead, Shrijit. Uh, sir, suppose for example, uh, our airfield has uh, Ozar Airport as the nearest uh, aerodrome for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, our transition altitude is flight, uh, 5,000 feet from the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, correction, 5,000 feet uh, QNH. Mm -hmm. So... And Ozar is a military airfield and they suggest that after 5,000 feet, you should always be con in contact with Ozar. So is it controlled by the military or our airfield is sharing the transition level with Ozar? Egypt, you will understand these things a little more as you reach the higher uh, lectures, uh, later lectures for sure. Uh, it's all about how it's all about how the uh, airspace is shared. Okay, so it's like the smaller aerodromes like BFC. They do their flight training near that aerodrome, which falls under Ozar, which is a larger airspace 
uh, air traffic controller, you could say. So you could have a smaller aerodrome with only this much of airspace, while you'll have a bigger aerodrome having more airspace. So this could be your local aerodrome. This could be your Ozar aerodrome. So the limit is only because your local aerodrome has a limit of, let's say, 5,000 feet and up to some DME radius. If you are flying in between that, then you are safe to communicate with whoever is taking care of this ATC. So BFC allows the trainee trainees only to be their ATCs as long as they are within this small airspace. If they have to go beyond that, then they have to talk to the major ATC because everywhere else, this ATC has their own aircrafts. So they will be better people to help you with separation in case this aircraft is going to come outside. So this is in short is what I could explain why you have Ozar, why you have limitation. The limitation is not to do with much of Ozar, but to do with the local limitations in the local airport that you are allowed to uh, manage traffic at with respect to whoever you have. So jahan pe aapko professional air traffic controllers nahi mil rahe hain, wo airport aapko kam se kam jage dega radially and vertically. Minimum, bare minimum, only for your personal flying or flying training. That's it. Anything over and above, you have to check which is the major ACC, major TMA, and unse aapko direct baat karni hoti hai. Okay, sir. So Ozar is a major ATC in that area, basically. So not just your airport, there might be a few more smaller airports will be talking to Ozar over and above certain DME and vertical flight levels or altitudes. It feels nice when students, they visit Mumbai for their flight checks. Generally, people studying there near Ozar, they do that. They do that towards the end of their 200 hours. And where I am right now, I can actually see that track from where you go to Dhanu and Diu. There is a checkpoint there to do some of your texts. Uh, it's not always easy to say if our student is flying or somebody else, but it happens. So this is the path. There is a ground station, which I can see an NDB station. So all air routes go from here. And uh, yeah, it's exciting to see helicopters. They go from here. Larger planes will go from the left. And smaller planes will go from the right. So basically, this probably is the VFR track. And this is the IFR track, we can say. So if your education is good anywhere, you will be able to make sense of the whole world with an invisible uh, sketch of everything. You'll be able to see everything. You'll be able to see the routes. You'll be able to see directions. Bina kisi gadget ke aapko sab samaj aja ne lag jayega. Okay. Students, any more questions? Hmm. Chalo. So these are the points that we'll discuss quick calls with. And anytime when one call is discussed, I might ask anyone to give me any other call. Feel free to do so. Okay. We will be taking a look at a couple of points. These are with respect to the aerodrome. So what are the calls that we can do with respect to the aerodrome? Of course, startup, pre-flight radio checks, pushback, taxi, right? Then lineup, takeoff, initial climb. Those calls are the calls that are related to aerodrome during the start phase. During the end phase, it would be when you are determining your approach procedures, runway in sight, maybe an instrument approach procedures or something like that. So all calls to do with respect to aerodrome they will start with atc information what is atc information this is something that you get over datis or atis now datis is not how we pronounce it we call it d atis so from now on whenever we want to call data link automatic terminal information service or digital automatic information terminal information service we'll say d atis Okay, we'll not say that is. Earlier we used to say that, but now that we have manuals of abbreviations, we say DATIS. Students who can keep your videos on, please do it. Let me see, especially first time live students. If you have never attended live sessions before, I would want to see how you're studying because now actual this is happening. Okay. 
students who are not keeping the videos on who are not first timers i want constant acknowledgments through this or through this as reactions who said aapke liye main desire karunga aap video on rakho if possible every now and then ayan prakhar aapke liye hai vikram you could do it once twice kanishk you can do it once twice at least not more not much worried about you there theek hai siddharth once twice you can also do because i want to see the energy today we were talking about the energy okay where is komal komal is not there okay so etc information okay and then you have departure information now these are simple words but they have different meaning departure information means etc clearance or departure clearance now this is that call where you obtain clearance to depart from a runway know what turns and what climbs you should make to reach a specific point a specific way point from where you will do your normal navigation which means autopilot based navigation or basic flight plan based navigation for example uh, i'll give you a top view if this is an airport if this is the direction of flight let's say you have to go to a place uh, you have to take this route okay out to your destination so how do you reach a particular waypoint on this route at what level do you reach can be determined either you will get a simple path like this okay in blue so maybe you will be meant ask ask to maintain runway heading then climb a little bit maintain runway heading then climb then here you will turn right and then further climb and reach a point maybe then further climb this is from top view so here i could be given a climb here i could be given a climb and then here be i'd be given a turn right and then maybe climb and then some altitude i have to reach to this point a particular way point this is how standard departures are okay in simple words now let's say my flight plan uh, my my directions of runway change okay so now i have to take off like this but i have to go through the same route so how do i reach here so an etc clearance will be given to me to do this like this so how do i do this turn and go to that particular point from where i will resume my normal navigation this is again top view students okay not side view so here they will ask me to maintain runway heading for some time then turn right then further turn right so here there will be a climb maybe a climb then maintain 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 then again turn right maybe some so everywhere there will be level change and turns level change and turns turns will be related to intercepting radials that's the easiest way to stay on a required track okay radials are magnetic directions emanating out from your ground stations vor ground stations so this is what your adc clearance departure clearance is all about when do you get it you get it any time up to a point before take off request should be made you can take it before or during pre flight checks before start up during start up before taxi during taxi before line up during line up up to the point before you enter the runway you it's fine if you have not taken the departure clearance but by then you should tell etc i still not have the departure clearance i need the departure clearance before i can take off you cannot take off without departure clearance you don't know what to do after take off you getting me that's the most crucial part so departure information always goes with tower irrespective of where you are even if you have not started your engines you are talking to ground departure information or departure clearance will go with clear tower for any aerodrome remember that etc information you can ask from tower you can ask for ground mostly tower can give you ground can give you that is request etc information that is just like what you hear at dtis or atis okay these are two basic calls that you will come through this departure clearance will be followed by a compliance which you should master this compliance is the first type of call where you get to practice real time exchange of communication with your examiners or with me in class 
So probably one of the calls that I'll be asking you to practice would be obtain clearance and comply today itself. Couple of y'all's mind, couple of y'all at least will have to do that. The third type of call that we can deal with could be with respect to startup of the aircraft. Okay. We can say startup procedures. Now, one thing I want you all to keep in mind, always look for reasons for special handling in your flight plan if you have startup calls. Special handling, the code is STS. Look for priority. Priority could be given to government personnel, emergency evacuations, natural calamity, search and rescue, medical hospital flights, human organ-based uh, cargo that is there for surgery, human organ for transplant hazardous material, lithium ion batteries, and maybe transferring a prisoner or something like that, which doesn't come much in your simulation of RT exams. But those are all special handling situations, VVIP and everything. So always be careful to ensure you have checked the exam flight plan carefully when it comes to startup procedures. And when you are giving a startup call, make sure you are also informing about the ATIS or DATIS if on the chart, your departure aerodrome has ATIS or DATIS. The information that you have to give is information followed by a code, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta. Many students ask, sir, iska matlab kya hota hai? We know it's just a code for the current aerodrome information. If the information changes, the code of the information also changes to the next letter in sequence. So it's to verify whether the ATC is transmitting the same information and we receive the same information. After startup procedures, what do you have? We have pushback. So pushback and startup or startup and pushback. Generally, I'll say pushback happens first. Startup happens second when it comes to safety. Okay. Then we have taxi. We all know what is taxi. It'll be very fun when you'll be trained to taxi a 320 or a 737. It's a different feeling compared to flying the same plane. And when you'll taxi your Cessnas, it'll be a great feeling too. Then I'll ask you, what do you find is easy for you to taxi? Cessna or 3 to 1? Let's see what you say. After taxi, we have takeoff. So we can say taxi instructions for taxi. And for takeoff, we can say takeoff procedures. All right. The most important thing that we can have is aerodrome traffic circuit. Students who are well versed with the aerodrome traffic circuit, raise your hands. Who are all well versed? Okay, only four students, five students, six students. Okay, not bad, seven. ADC circuit, we have done it well in our lectures. If you have not reached there, then you should. Kanishk, Ada, Apko, right? Siddharth, Zayprakash, Vikram, not aware of ATC circuit. Yamuna, Priyanka, Ayan, Niharika. Shatta is aware, right? Okay. The students put it in the list of topics that you have to master. Huh? So ATC circuit, base leg, finals, long finals, downwind, late downwind, upwind, crosswind. These are positions. You need to be aware of these positions, fixed positions. Minimum safe altitude is something MSA that you will be required to maintain on your ATC circuits. If nothing else works, that's the altitude you should request for MSA. Minimum safe altitude is something you could ask. Next, you have final approach and landing. So up to here, you have departure. Then you have arrival. ATC circuit will be common for departure and arrival. Okay.
I want, uh, we'll practice a couple of calls now. Let's see you all re re uh, remember this. Any people, raise your hands who are willing to start practicing right now. Raise your hand. Anybody who wants to try. Kuldeep wants to try. Srijit wants to try. Kanish wants to try. Prerit wants to try. Muskan wants to try. Bas. Vara Prasad. FM, sir. I think I'm seeing you for the first time. Nice to see you. Thank you, sir. Prasad, nice to see you again. Kanishk, I'm seeing you for the first time in the first time. It's One of the most uh, dedicated students. All of students are like that. If I compare them, I can tell you. I'm going to make all of them. I'm going to make all of them. I'm going to make all of them. Okay. Practice is nice to see you. Going great. Everybody is doing good. Whoever is present is really impressing me. He said, updates are not coming from your side, I have. But let's see. First, we will try to get a call of Kanishk. I want you to obtain ADC information. And we'll be following a common flight plan right now. You all can just make out. Uh, we are going from Mumbai to Trivandrum. We will be going at a flight level. Two five zero, and we'll be flying ATR seven two. Your call sign will be Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo. We are flying IFR, and our wake turbulence is moderate. Sometimes in the exam flight plans, the wake turbulence could be a little hypothetical. So it's okay as long as it's in the exam. A uh, route you can check from the charts. Anybody who wants to, otherwise it's fine for now because it's an obtain ATC information. You can look at your chart, see you have tower or what, and just request that call. Okay. So Mumbai to Trivandrum, IFR, and estimated time of departure would be uh, one three two zero hours. Okay. So question number one, it goes to Kanish, and the question is, obtain ATC information. The call will be live, and it will be as good as what you think presently. You will give in the exam. No cross talking. You'll write it, and you'll send me your logs. Whenever you are ready, start. Trivandrum ground Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo request ATC information. I say again Trivandrum ground Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo request ATC information. Trivandrum Tower, negative contact with Trivandrum Ground, request ATC information. Hmm. What's the flight plan? Sir, flight plan is from Mumbai to Trivandrum. So, who are you calling? Oh, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. I have called wrong station. Hmm. Happens. Kuldeep, are you 
अफर्म सर विटेड आई सर कैन आई ट्राई अगेन आराम से तुम लिख भी रहे हो कॉल या सिर्फ बोल रहे हो सर आई एम राइटिंग बट स्लोली तो तुम बोल के इतना फास्ट रहे हो देखो पॉइंट क्या है जो बोल रहे हो रियल टाइम में लिखना है Everybody saw what I was writing. I was writing what the other person is speaking, right? Did you see the lag or the dead air between he stopping his signal and me continuing to write till stopping it? The dead air was more than ten seconds both times. मैं कैसे लिख सकता हूँ उससे fast? Humanly, it's not possible unless I practice. तो अगर आप exam में इतना fast call दोगे तो आप लिख नहीं रहे हो. ऐसा पता चलेगा examiner को. आप लिख भी रहे हो तो examiner नहीं लिख पा रहा है. Second चीज कॉल साइंस ही हमने चेक नहीं किया दिमाग में फ्रेम नहीं किया दो बेसिक रूल्स हम फॉलो नहीं कर रहे हैं बट हमने पढ़ा और हम जो भी बोल रहे हैं सही बोल रहे हैं तो वो बहुत अच्छी बात है लैंग्वेज इज क्लीन वट वी आर सेंग इज राइट वी हैव स्टडीड इट द वे वी आर सेंग इट इज रॉन्ग दैट इज ऑल्सो समथिंग दैट मैटर्स नाउ दिस इज हाउ वी लर्न माई जॉब इज टू सी योर कॉल्स टेल यू वॉट टू डू एंड यू डू दैट एंड दिस इज हाउ यू रीच परफेक्शन इंडिविजुअली स्टूडेंट सो डोंट वरी मैंने मिस्टेक किया पंद्रह लोग के सामने फिक्स इट सिंपल एज दैट and see what happens i showed you when you don't get any response generally you have to write in your log as no response mai i am just leading by example right now so that it's much more easier for you to do things agar mai nahi likhta to mujhe nahi pata kanish ko samajh aata to ho sakta hai kanish 10 15 second aur waste karta reply ka wait karta fir se station raise karta jo usne seekha hai rcf ke liye something that is learned try to wait for some more time try to call again it helped him because i showed it on the screen probably but in exams will not get that so kanish go slow write and speak if you are not in a position to write tell me sir give me some time set up nahi hai mere paas kisi aur ko bata do tab tak i can wait sir i'll try try yeah but when i come back to you okay okay sir and and beginners mistake we just don't realize the call sign that we are calling You just don't realize the station. Why? Because more worried about giving answers. Don't think about it as an exam. Think about it as a pilot flying the plane. तुम्हें लगता है मुंबई to Trivandrum का pilot मुंबई को call करके Trivandrum ground बोल सकता है? Silly से silly mistake. हो ही नहीं सकती है because वो रहा मुंबई में है, वो रही मुंबई में है, मुंबई एपो जा रहे, मुंबई की traffic से मुंबई एपो जा रहे, जगह जगह मुंबई लिखा है, उनको पता है flight plan के briefing में भी मुंबई से Trivandrum जाना है, co-pilot भी मुंबई का आ रहा है, departure भी मुंबई से हो रहा ह तो ये आप ट्रिवेंड्रम को कॉल कर रहे हो कैसे ऐसे मिस्टेक्स तो होने ही नहीं चाहिए ना तो मतलब हमने फ्लाइट प्लान को नहीं देखा बस तो एग्जामिनर्स को पता चल जाता है इसको मैं क्या ही पास करूं जब इसको इतना कॉमन सेंस नहीं है थोड़ा और मेहनत करो और जाओ आर टी लेके क्योंकि उनको पता है आर टी इज द ओनली लाइसेंस वेटिंग बिटवीन यू एंड योर इंडियन सीपीएल लाइसेंस एंड दैट इज वॉट इज वेटिंग फॉर यू टू गेट अ जॉब इफ यू गुड रेफरेंस दे नो दैट सो दे आर ट्राइंग टू मेक इट टफ सो दैट यू डिजर्व एंड यू अचीव दैट but it's easy still if you know how to crack it so something to learn in this example now i'm giving question number 2 we'll come back to this question obtain departure clearance and this is alpha and bravo would be comply with above clearance okay like this so question number 2 a 10 points question number 2 b 10 marks question number 1 overall was for 20 marks okay so students who already have their hands raised if you still think you can give this call keep your hands raised others who are willing to try this call please hand raise your hands okay okay prakhar aap nahi try kar rahe ho siddharth you are not trying ayan you are not trying priyanka niharika you are not trying where shatta shatta is ready to try okay good usaid you are not trying why prakhar you are not trying why one of the first calls that we learn shatta go ahead with the call follow the flight plan okay the same flight plan yes sir
and what is yes let's try to Apam. use tati phrases yes yes Apam. yes i mean let me use non rt once in a while to de stress don't do what i do in that area you stick to rt phrases students nahi to aap aisa mat bolo sir aap bhi kya karo na follow fir main bolunga acha give me some room yaar to relax a little bit but you have to ensure you do it okay disclaimer there of pehle nahi to aap log ba piche bologe yaar sir khud to bolte nahi humse expect karta hai wo sab mein dimag jana hi nahi chahiye aapka chalo chalo start Mumbai ground Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo stand 2 ATR 72 moderate IFR Mumbai to Trivandrum request departure clearance Mumbai tower Victor Tango Alpha Lima kilo stand 2 ATR 72 moderate IFR Mumbai to Trivandrum request departure clearance Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo Mumbai tower after departure climb 2500 feet runway heading runway 27 thereafter turn right for radial 315 climb to flight level 60 thereafter turn left for radial 280 further climb flight level 150 dme 100 or less report reaching after departure climb Two five zero zero feet. Runway heading. Runway two seven. Thereafter, turn right for radial three one five. Climb flight level zero six zero. Thereafter. Turn left for radial two eight zero. Further climb flight level one five zero. DME one zero zero or less. Wilco Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo. Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo Mumbai Tower I say again after departure climb 2500 feet
विक्टर टैंगो अल्फा लीमा किलो मुंबई टावर मुंबई टावर विक्टर टैंगो अल्फा लीमा किलो आफ्टर डिपार्चर क्लाइन 2500 फीट go to next question okay shata good job uh shata i really like the way you have control and confidence over what you said initially it felt like you had a um, the flow was not uh, in continuity but it later on it didn't feel like that so no problem um when you said uh, the read back you said climb to 500 feet here what i understood and what you transmitted was a mismatch so i was not sure i wanted to ensure your safety so i gave you a correction that okay climb to 2500 feet so here 2500 feet better we have 2500 feet that's why the example of light level 065 was in picture 6500 feet 2500 feet single digit whole numbers can be said as 2500 3500 because so that this confusion doesn't happen these little things is where we lose marks trust me so this was one issue nothing else was an issue everything was perfect i really liked it earlier you made the call to ground and not tower again the same mistake that kanishk made we have to be careful before we take a call we cross check in our mind departure clearance abhi sir ne bola tha so just said a while ago departure clearance will go with tower irrespective of where we are so always in your mind cross verify the atc are calling before you take a call to make sure your mistakes are not made when your mistakes are made you'll make miss a lot of time and that will put you under more anxiety and pressure so your performance will degrade 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 unnecessarily so the first calls easy calls aerodrome calls are the most important calls because there is where you cannot afford to make a mistake so simple things otherwise i'm very happy with the procedure your read back was good but why did you not give me any response when i corrected this now not always will your atc examiners will sound professional they could sound sometimes if you are confusing them or if they are confused by themselves the way i sounded but the call was completed when the call was completed here you have to respond within 10 seconds that's okay, the rule so so um hmm. i i assumed that uh, they would give a complete uh, read back of the instructions so Uh, that was my uh, misunderstanding. I I noted my mistake. I would not repeat it again. So you so we assume that probably ATC wants to speak a little more. We are giving them time. You give them five seconds time at least to see if they are going to continue to talk. This is something we know. If you don't have any communication whatsoever since five minutes, then five seconds, then understand that is it. Sometimes we know how they have ended just the way we sound in the end, but not always will that happen. So the logic should be okay. the call it's done maybe i just incorrectly read back 2500 and nothing else at least you could have said roger say again read you to or something you didn't acknowledge at all that is what i'm roger. talking about you could say confirm uh, uh, say something or if you are confused now what to do just give a whole read back again which you did eventually i was hoping you would give me the whole read back but still you gave the corrected read back to end this call you could have said will go you corrected this and then you are saying will go and then it makes sense that you have corrected this and you'll comply with the departure clearance completely or better you give the whole read back over here so little confusion because these things we don't plan and prepare these things happen so we need to be prepared is what i'm trying to say so if i got no response i wrote no response and then i just raised the station again and that's where i got it you could have used the word i say again the phrase remember the more phrases you use mumbai tower victor tango alpha lima kilo i say again after departure climb 2500 feet maintaining runway heading runway 27 will comply with the clearance roger report reaching that's how you can end just comply with what they have said otherwise it's just basic communication hmm 
Otherwise, good. Very nice. Very happy to hear your capacity of calls. Good. Do you have any troubles? Negative, sir. I, I noticed that this was practical yeah, yeah. errors, uh, but uh, I'm glad that I could learn now. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Otherwise, it's nice. Couple of things. You have to respond and you have to just uh, give a little more than what you gave in the last call that you did. Roger. Kanish, what was troubling you? Sir, I I just saw the the that wait um that chart and I just saw the Trivandrum right directly without seeing Mumbai. So in my mind, I just thought we have to start with Trivandrum ground. So I did that. You thought why to call Trivandrum when your departure is from Mumbai? I didn't realize that. I directly saw the Trivandrum on charts like back of my mind. I thought uh, we have to call Trivandrum only. Hmm. Destination chahiye aapko samaj raha Theek hai. Okay. Compliance of the above clearance. Hands up. I hope everybody can see the screen. I want you all to observe how I am logging, how we are supposed to log. Kuldeep, Yamuna, Nyarika, Srijit, Muskan, Muskan, Prerit, and Kanishk. Okay. Anybody else? Vikram, Ayan, Priyanka, Siddharth, Zaprakash, Usred, Prakhar, Vara Prasad. You look different uh, from your pictures. I'm happy. Finally, there's a face. You know, there are some students who are graduated and I don't even know how they look like. Okay. Sir, uh, can I see this departure clearance again? Uh, uh, better up kisi se read back manglo. RT call ma. Talk to someone and request them to give you a read back of the departure clearance. Practice it with someone. Randomly pick up anyone. Okay. What is okay? It's Roger. Or Wilco. Roger. Hmm. Hmm. Quick, 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 quick. Victor Tango, Papa Romeo Tango. Victor Tango, Victor, Victor Sierra. Uh, say again. Say again what? Specify Guru Vikram. Logic say, use Guru. Say again departure clearance. Likhre up your call? Kisi bol reo? No, sir, I'm writing. Yes, sir, I'm writing. Likho, likke, ah, achse se, lag nira dum likhre ho. Rule. Student, follow the discipline in speaking and logging. Mag aise kar rao. Ek zone me ana padta. You have to get into a zone and do it. Hmm. Preet, respond. Victor Tango, Victor, Victor Sierra. Victor Tango, Papa, Romeo Tango. Relaying or Mumbai Tower. After departure, climb 2500 feet. Runway heading, runway 27. Thereafter, turn right or radial 315. Climb to flight level 60. Thereafter, turn left for radial 280. Further climb for flight level 150. DME 100 or less. Last guy, Greg, instruction. Huh? Report reaching. Read it. Yes, sir. Good read back. Vikram, 
yes yes sir. victor tango papa romeo tango victor tango victor victor sierra uh, after departure climbing 2500 Uh, 25 uh, 2500 feet wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, start with the read back and end with your call sign. You don't need to take the call signs again. So you'll start with the read back of the ADC clearance or any message you get and then end with your call sign. And please write and do it. Please write and do it. Roger. After departure, climb two five zero zero feet. What did we speak about this single digit thousands of feet? We say two thousand five hundred feet. We don't say two five zero zero feet. Otherwise, Shatta's mistake will happen here. Also, we'll write climb two and five zero zero feet. We'll not understand it's two thousand five hundred feet. That's why six thousand five hundred feet was getting more priority in the way it should be spoken for flight level zero six five. एग्जामिनर्स hmm. इसी पे चेक करते हैं सबसे पहले उनको पता चल जाता नाइनर नाइन फिलर्स इन दिस या वर्क ऑन इट स्टूडेंट्स कॉन्शियसली रोजर आफ्टर डिपार्चर क्लाइम 2500 फीट रनवे हेडिंग रनवे 27 सेवन देर आफ्टर टर्न राइट फॉर रेडियल 315 then climb flight level 60 there after turn left for radial 280 further climb flight level 150 dme 100 or less victor tango victor vector sierra hmm. रिपोर्ट रीचिंग एक इंस्ट्रक्शन है यू हैव गॉट व्हिच यू हैव टू से विल को और विल रिपोर्ट रीचिंग एंड यू सेड 100 डीएमए और लेस से 100 डीएमए और लेस डीएमए रेडियल वी जनरली से इन थ्री डिजिट्स सो 100 डीएमए और लेस वी डोंट से 100 वी डोंट से 100 रेडियल डीएमए डायरेक्शन सिंगल डिजिट आर यूज्ड दीस लिटिल थिंग्स सॉफ्ट स्किल्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके So this is the ADC clearance. Who will comply? Raise your hands quick. Whoever wants to practice and shine, this is your chance. तुम देख रहे हो ना कितना मुश्किल से practice करने का मौका मिल रहा है. Hmm. Kuldeep is interested. I would like to see you, Kuldeep. But stand by right now. Hmm. Nyarika is ready. Okay. Muskan is ready. Prakhar is ready. Good. Yamuna is ready. Prerit is ready. Okay. Okay. Muskan, why don't you give me the compliance of this call? And when I say, or when I'm asking anyone to give me their call, try to give you a perfect call. And how do you give you a perfect call? By following the strategy of framing the calls and checking for mistakes in your mind before you give the call. That is my expectation. If you do that, you will come up to a perfect or near perfect call by default. If you don't do that, you'll still find your calls are clean, but some silly major mistakes are made. Okay. So don't forget this part in your calls whenever you are practicing calls. Mumbai Tower, Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo, passing two thousand feet for two thousand five hundred feet. Runway heading, runway two seven. Roger, correction. Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo, Mumbai Tower. Roger. Mumbai Tower, Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo, two thousand five hundred feet. Turning right. For radial three one five. Roger. Mumbai Tower.
Mumbai Tower, Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo, Radial 315, leaving 2500 feet for flight level 60. Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo, Mumbai Tower. Roger, speak slower. Will speak slower. Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo. Mumbai Tower, Victor Tango, Alpha Lima Kilo, turning left for radial 280, flight level 60. Victor Tango, Alpha Lima Kilo, Mumbai Tower. Roger. Mumbai Tower, Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo, radial 280, leaving flight level 60 or flight level 150, Niner 2. DME outbound Mumbai. Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo Mumbai Tower Roger reaching flight level one five zero. 100 DME or less. Contact Mumbai approach on one to one decimal seven. Reaching flight level one five zero one zero zero DME or less will contact Mumbai approach on 121.7 Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo. Roger, Mumbai Tower. Okay. Muskan, very good call. Mm, very good, perfect. Rate of speech is a little fast. You saw the struggle the examiner is making to write. We don't want to put them in such a situation. A little slow, slight slow. If you are able to speak and write, then write a little slower than your usual pace right now. It will work in your favor. Next call that you're going to practice, of course, a mock also be, will be done. I want to see this change. Uh, students, you might feel being fast is a good sign. It's not for the exam. Just saying. Yamuna's was very good. Uh, not Yamuna's, sorry. Muskan's was very good. Of course, Yamuna's calls be good. Right now, Muskan's call was very good. Little fast. Muskan, one confusion happened in a reply that I want to bring out. Everybody, eyes on the screen. Uh, when you said turning left, for radial 320, flight level 60. Now this point, if you be careful in your clearance, what were you told? Turn right for radial 315. Once you have intercepted radial 315, you climb to flight level 60. Once you are on 60, then you turn left for 280. So the turn for left, turn left turn from radial 315 to 280, has to be made when you are on an altitude or flight level 60. 
Okay. So when we say as 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 flight level is given to us and we'll be changing radials, so first the flight level should be spoken and then the radial change. Otherwise, we don't know your where your flight level is. So in this case, what the understanding the other person got was turning left for radial two eight zero, flight level six zero. It means you are going to turn to intercept two eight zero as well as reach to flight level six zero. Here the confusion was, where are you now? What's your present flight level? ATC would have asked to confirm, and that would have increased a point in communication, which otherwise would not have required. If you have said Mumbai Tower, Victor Tango, Alpha Lima Kilo, flight level six zero, radial three one five, turning left for radial two eight zero, like this, because your past job was your past flight level plus past radial. So present position you give first, and then you talk about the next position that you are going to assign. So from here you will see a position report element start. So my present radial is three one five. My present flight level is six zero. Now I'm going to turn left for two eight zero as you had cleared me to. I'm just complying. This tiny error, if you can spot, it means you are doing thousand percent level preparation. You have reached that level, but you have to ensure we inculcate that. अगर यहाँ पे ये नजर अंदाज़ हो रहा है, if we are missing this here. Then there are chances we'll miss a few more things somewhere else, and the cumulative effect would be that we would lose up higher marks, larger marks, or more number of marks in the exam. So I can hold you by the neck if I am a very strict instructor or examiner, or I could just give you a benefit of doubt if the way I was right now this session, you will get any type of instruction. So I can show you the strictest also and the easiest also. Generally, you will get a mixture. You'll get an instructor who's a little strict, a little helpful. Both. There is a student whom I wanted to speak today in class to share her experience with RT and to tell you all how you could do it from a student's perspective. She's very young, but she has done it. But she was there, but I think we got lost into the sessions, and she's not there in the session. So I'll have to convince her to try and come and join us, probably tomorrow. And if she is ready, then you will have a chance to take first-hand experience and ask questions. What it takes uh, from students, and that will be really helpful to you all. Hmm. So, Muskan, inputs. What do you think about this? May does it make sense? Affirm, sir. Nazar hai tum pe. Samajh rahe ho? Nahi samajh rahe ho? Check ho raha hai. अब देखो कुलदीप डे ड्रीम कर रहा है उसका नाम भी ले लिया और उसको पता नहीं है सो दिस इज हाउ एटलीस्ट आई कैन नो इफ समबडीज वीडियो इज ऑन बाकी लोग का तो वीडियो भी ऑन नहीं है उनके साथ तो क्या ही हो रहा होगा सर मैं फर्स्ट टाइम ही समझ गया था जब कॉल दिया था ना तब मैं कंफ्यूज भी हो गया था मैं क्लिक भी रहा था तब मैं कंफ्यूज हो गया था कि रेडियल 280 कैसे आया नहीं नहीं मैं डाउट नहीं कर रहा हूं ये तो होता है बुरा मत मानो आज तो ऐसा तो है कल प्रेरित के साथ होगा किसी के साथ होगा किसी ना किसी पे तो जोक मारूंगा ही मैं पर्सनली नहीं लेना है आपको बट यार दैट हैपेंस दैट हैपेंस पांच सेकेंड भी आपने कुछ मिस कर दिया ना आपके लूप होल होगा आगे जाके तो वो मिस नहीं करना है कुलदीप क्या सोच रहे थे आप खाने में क्या स्मेल आ रही है आ, ऐसे कुछ तो मस्त बोलो सर धाप धाओ तो जब पहली बार में कुलदीप बोला तब आगे नहीं चमकी दूसरी बार में चमकी तो पांच सेकेंड का अटेंशन डेफिशिट दिखा है मुझे वहां पर तो वो पांच सेकंड कितनी देर पहले से था मुझे कैसे पता चलेगा हाँ बट एटलीस्ट यू आर लर्निंग समथिंग मोर कि तुम्हारा वीडियो ऑन है बाकी लोग का तो मेरे को डर लग रहा है अभी स्टूडेंट मुझे गुस्सा आता है क्योंकि मुझे डर लगता है तुम्हारे लिए समझते हो तुम लोग सॉरी कुलदीप बोलो एक्चुअली आई कॉल पे बोला कुलदीप बेसिक चीज दस बार रिपीट हो रही है तो तुम्हें दस बार सुननी है है ना तो वो चीज देखो मेरा इंस्टिंग सही था हो सकता है तुम कर नहीं रहे हो जान बुझ के दिस इज हाउ आर माइंड आर वी हैव टू टेम इट इफ यू वांट टू मेक द बेस्ट बेनिफिट एंड क्लियर एज सुन एज यू वॉन्ट हम सिर्फ सब्जेक्ट की बात कर रहे हैं जो भी मैं सिखा रहा हूँ सब सब्जेक्ट के लिए इंपॉर्टेंट है स्टूडेंट्स तुम जितना डाल सको अपने प्रेपरेशन में उतना जरूरी उतना अच्छा है तुम्हारे लिए अच्छी बात है तुम पहली बार में समझ गए बट चार बार बोलो तो चारों बार सुननी है वो बात स्टूडेंट्स आप लोगों को ध्यान रखो प्लीज यार 
कितने बड़े बड़े रूलर्स डिक्टेटर्स जबरदस्त एक गलत गलत काम करवा लेते हैं जो हमें नहीं करने होते हैं स्लेवरी हो गई हाँ पैसे लूट लिए टैक्स भरवा लिए एक्स्ट्रा वो तो सब लोग डर के मारे कर लेते हैं इंस्ट्रक्टर पढ़ने के लिए बोल रहा है जो उसका काम है और जो तुम्हारा काम है पढ़ना वो क्यों नहीं फॉलो करता है हाँ एरिया को भी गुंडा आगे कुछ बोलेगा सब फॉलो करने लग जाएंगे कोई पॉलिटिशियन आ जाएगा सब फॉलो करने लग जाएंगे गवर्नमेंट बोल देगी सब फॉलो करने लग जाएंगे टीचर कुछ बोल रहा है तो उसको फॉलो करने में क्या प्रॉब्लम है स्पेशली जब तुम्हारे पास स्पेशलिस्ट है किसी सब्जेक्ट का पढ़ाई के लिए ऐसा क्यों हर कोई करता है ये अन इतना स्मार्ट है अन से भी हुआ है से बता रहा हूं मैं सो दैट ही ऑल्सो थिंग्स अन किधर हो शक्ल नहीं दिखा रहे हो तुम तुम्हारे पास तो इतनी अच्छी प्राइवेसी है यार सर एक्चुअली मेरे पीसी पे वेबकैम नहीं है सर अरे मैं भिजवाता हूं तुम्हारे पास वन डे डिलीवरी प्राइम कैलसी भी आया था ना तुम्हारे पास हां हां सर क्या बात कर रहे हो यार बहाने मत दिया करो मुझे आप लोग या वीडियो एडिटर हो तुम मेरे को बोल रहे हो वेबकैम नहीं है तुम्हारे पास जुगाड़ नहीं है तुम्हारे पास फोन को भी वेबकैम बना सकते हैं यार हम लोग दस साल पहले फोन को वेबकैम बना रहे थे जब एप्स नहीं थे एक्सक्यूजेज हाँ हजार ये छोटी छोटी चीजें आप लोग फॉलो नहीं करते हो बट यू आर डेडिकेटेड रिजल्ट कैसे मिलेंगे एनी वे फोकस ऑन दिस एंड डोंट मेक मी रिपीट इट अगेन स्टूडेंट्स टाइम फॉर सम क्वेश्चन एनी थिंग रिंगिंग इन योर बेल Uh, anything ringing like a bell in your mind mumbai tower victor tango sierra hotel romeo please go ahead uh, so i have a question in your response where you gave uh, speak slower is it because that you told uh, roger that uh, we need not uh, re- uh, read back the entire i mean sorry uh, reply i mean respond again for the previous uh, statement or else should we actually Say it again. Hmm. Here, what Muskan did was very good. Uh, uh, Muskan, I wanted to say, अच्छा आपने handle किया speak slower. Uh, because here the only instruction given was speak slower, nothing else. Roger was not an instructor instruction, just a uh, acknowledgement from ATC that yeah, I have received and understood your message. Instruction was speak slower. Instruction was not to say again. If I ATC ATC would have said say again speak slower say again all तब पूरा repeat करना पड़ता है ये last call धीरे धीरे बोल के then she or you would have to had repeat the whole call in a slower tone but I was okay I just wanted her to slow be slow the next time because I was lagging and if she is slow the next time I will not lag so this is how examiners help you using RT phrases and if you can comply like this. Will see, speak slower. You get plus two definitely. Bina kuch kiye yahan pe wo mil jayega apko. Two marks definitely mil jayenge yahan pe impression. Bad try. Basically, impression is being, uh, you know, uh, in in infringed in the examiner's mind based upon your performance like that. If I would have said, uh, read you two, read you three, Roger, whatever, say again, speak slower, say again, then only would have repeated the whole. Otherwise. As per the request, she has done it right. In your case, you could have given the whole call again, speaking slower. So you can do it, but it was not a compulsion in this case. Okay. Roger. Is the doubt clear? Affirm, sir. You don't sound confident. Affirm, sir. Hmm. So do you want to try and give a read back to this reply? So Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo Mumbai Tower Roger speak slower. This was the call. Try this Shrata. A different way. Mumbai Tower Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo will speak slower. I say again. Radial. Three one five, leaving two five zero two thousand five. Correction two thousand five hundred feet for flight level six zero. Hmm. Good. You fumbled, but you used correction. Generally, first time fumbling should bring in correction. You brought it second time, but it's fine. 
otherwise it was very good works what muskan did in the rhythm was perfect what you are doing is also very good so this is how we can use our own logic and improve our calls something that i say students basics jo aapko sikha rahe hain wo karo students follow the basic that we were teaching you and then use your expertise to improve things if you feel like it can be improved so shatta was right with her question can i do it yes i explained her when can she do it and what muskan did is not wrong so she knows okay good so what she was thinking was actually right what muskan did is also actually right both are right in this case questions sushita had asked a question yesterday but she is not there so we will not discuss that anybody has questions from our chat that we have not uh, discussed now is the time for you to reshare again maybe your lecture doubts anything that you have shared over whatsapp or parking lot so whenever you have live sessions make sure all the doubts are discussed in live sessions so part jo bhi hai batao mujhe jaldi doesn't matter lecture 1 lecture 5 doesn't matter sir i have a question from lecture 9 आपको बताया मैंने कल तो यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल स्टैंड बाय ऑन दैट कुलदीप स्टैंड बाय ऑन द डाउट आई कम बैक टू यू श्रीजीत मुस्कान प्रेरित डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन Uh, sir actually i had a question that you told to park in the parking lot uh, which was difference between non scheduled and general flight uh, from lecture 2 so did you research uh, sir i did research uh, i what i got is general flight comes under special handling and non scheduled flights if vip on board and uh, special transit and special transport will only come under special handling otherwise non scheduled will come under non scheduled as a different flight not uh, special handling general ke liye kya padha aapne uh, sir general will come under special handling which will mm, be a uh at training flight or a general uh, aviation flight uh, which comes under special handling ये किसी वीडियो से सीखा है किसी वेब पेज से सीखा है वेबसाइट uh, सर uh, वीडियो से स्टूडेंट आज एक एडवाइस दे रहा हूं जो आपको फ्यूचर में बचा सकती है एनी थिंग दैट यू आर रिसर्चिंग डोंट लुक फॉर वीडियोस कीप यूट्यूब असाइड ओनली रिसर्च थ्रू वेबसाइट्स एंड वेब पेजेस आज तक जो कर रहे थे उससे मैटर नहीं करता है प्लीज ये जो एविएशन में यूट्यूबर्स है वो गलत चीज उनको खुद को गलत चीज पता आधे से ज्यादा भले वो पायलट फ्लाइंग होंगे उनको नहीं फर्क पड़ता बिकॉज उनको वापस वो एग्जाम नहीं देनी है लॉस तुम्हारा होगा बेटर है वो हटाओ पहले तो अगर मैं आर एन डी बोल रहा हूँ रिसर्च तो आप डी जी सी ए सी ए आर या आई का पब्लिकेशन दो ही चीज है जहां इंफॉर्मेशन करेक्ट मिलेगी आपको समझ रहे हो डीजी से सी किसको नहीं पढ़ना आता है दो तीन रेगुलेशन के लेक्चर भेजूंगा उसमें सिखाया है कैसे इन्फॉर्मेशन एक्सेस करनी है वो आप लोग कर लेना मेरी तरफ से फ्री में आगे से ये ध्यान रखो सबसे पहले आपको मैंने एक वेबसाइट भी बताई स्काइब्रेरी आधे से आधा इन्फॉर्मेशन वहां मिल जाएगी विथ रेफरेंस विद आईकाओ मैनुअल्स मैंने आपके आर टी फोल्डर में भी आईकाओ एन एक्सेस एंड डॉक्स डाले हैं मोस्ट ऑफ देम विच आर इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर यू वेर यू विल गेट दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन ए आई पी कहा से आया हमारे पास डीजीसी के थ्रू आया वहां से ही इन्फो वेरीफाई करो अगर आपको बचना है खुद के लिए ठीक है वीडियोस मत फॉलो करो आप लोग आई एम सेइंग इट टू दो स्टूडेंट्स आल्सो जो वीडियो के थ्रू मेरे से मिले हैं मैं तो बताऊंगा यू वेल लकी यू फाउंड अ क्लास वीडियो समझ रहे हो बी केयरफुल ट्रस्ट मी किसको फॉलो करना है मैं नाम नहीं बता सकता आप लोगों को बट एक टाइम के बाद पता चल जाता है किसको फॉलो करना है और क्या फॉलो करना है नहीं तो नहीं आई एम तो वेरी स्पेसिफिक मैं भाई किसी से नहीं पढ़ना मैं बुक से पढ़ना कल को हमने उसके उसकी बात मान के गलत आंसर दे दिया और उसको दिमाग में डाल लिया तो हम लोगों के सामने फुलिश के लाएंगे वो कहाँ आएगा उसके पास कहाँ जाएंगे हम लोगों वो रिस्पॉन्सिबल ही नहीं है एंड कल भी ऐसा हुआ है मैं आपको कभी बताऊंगा फ्री टाइम पे इसके इम्पैक्ट क्या होता है आगे जाके इन चीजों के इट्स अ गुड प्लेस एंड इट्स अ बैड प्लेस सेम दीडियो सोर्स फॉर इन्फॉर्मेशन 
half of the people need it for money half of the people are doing for knowledge sharing how do you know who is doing log khareed lete hain subscribers and this and that kaise pata tumhe kaun genuine hai sabko influence ban influencer banna hai famous banna hai kyun sabko lifestyle chahiye wo wali aviation mein wo sab nahi hota so be careful firstly general bata raha hu secondly try to find the information as per description in air operators permit और एप ऑपरेटर सर्टिफिकेट अंडर डीजीसीए रेगुलेशंस तो आपको पता चलेगा कैसे कैसे एज एन एयर ऑपरेटर आप रजिस्टर कर सकते हो वहीं डेफिनेशन मिलेगा आपको स्केड्यूल ऑपरेटर नॉन स्केड्यूल ऑपरेटर जनरल समझ रहे हो आप है जगह है आपको नहीं मिलेगी मैं बताऊंगा कहाँ है बट वहां से ही फॉलो करना जनरली एन बोलते हैं नॉन स्केड्यूल ऑपरेटर्स को उसमें प्राइवेट चार्टर प्लेन्स भी आती हैं एंड कमर्शियल चार्टर प्लेन्स भी आ सकती हैं तो जनरल एविएशन कमर्शियल चार्टर प्लेन से ज्यादा कनेक्टेड है NSOPs generally private charters है बिजनेस मैन जो कभी भी उनको फ्लाई करना पड़ सकता है थिन लाइन बिटवीन दिस आप कहीं ना कहीं सही जा रहे हो और गलत जा रहे हो ऐसा है सो वो सोर्स सही नहीं है हमारा और कुछ नहीं तुम्हारी गलती नहीं है सो चेंज द सोर्स एंड डेवलप योर नॉलेज बिज अकॉर्डिंगली और दोबारा ट्राई करना बेसिक हिंट मैंने दे दिया है ट्राई करो और बताओ मिल रहा है नहीं मिल रहा है ठीक है बहुत बेनिफिट होगा इस चीज का आपको ओके मुस्कान प्रेरित डिंट है कुलदीप आज के क्वेश्चन देखो क्लास डाउट है तो अभी पूछो ओके भले आंसर मैं आपको बाद में दे दूंगा हाँ ओके सर हमने एक सिचुएशन लिया था एक क्वेश्चन था कि यू आर एट एटी डी एम ई इन बाउंड डेली टेक एक्शन यू हैव स्ट्रॉन्ग हेडविंड बट हमने उसका रिक्वेस्ट डिसेंड कर दिया उसमें ऐसा क्वेश्चन में था नहीं कि डिसेंड क्वेस्ट करना है बस एक एक्शन बोला था हम्म और पोजीशन दी थी बट हमने डिसेंड कर लिया उसमें या स्टूडेंट्स द क्वेश्चन इज यू आर 80 कुलदीप 80 80 नहीं 80 80 डीएमए इनबाउंड सो एंड सो प्लेस ओके यू हैव हेडविंड कीवर्ड्स पे फोकस करना है सो लेट्स से आप मुंबई पे हो और ये दिल्ली है आज मेरे एटीसी टावर्स थोड़े एब्स्ट्रैक्ट हो गया आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड इट्स एन एटीसी टावर ओके तो क्या होता है इनिशियल क्लाइम क्लाइम टॉप ऑफ क्लाइम क्रूज टॉप ऑफ डिसेंड एंड देन डिसेंड ये आपके फेजेस ऑफ फ्लाइट है ठीक है सिंपल क्वेश्चन को कैसे डिसाइफर करना है हाउ टू डिसाइफर सिंपल क्वेश्चन लाइक यूर टू एट जीरो डीएम इन बाउंड विद सम हेडविन कंपोनेंट क्वेश्चन इज Sir, I have seen a solution. In solution, they are also asking for descent. How do I make out? I have to ask for descent. That's the question here. Up within two hundred nautical miles of your destination, when you are within two hundred nautical miles of your destination, you can start with your descent. Okay. Now that can vary. It can vary from five zero DME, eight zero DME, nine hundred zero DME, one hundred, one hundred and fifty, two hundred, depending upon your speed and your altitude and your clearance. These calculations come as a part of your general navigation also. Yes, actually, sir, I got confused because of timing too. Because we gave timing for POD is one five one five, and we gave time now is one five one zero. So the first first observation is. If the question was you are eight zero DME inbound, that's it, nothing else. So you realize that you have reached within eight zero DME. This is your cruising altitude. Let's say flight level two five zero. What do you do? You request for climb. Uh, correction. You request for descent. Top of descent, descent, ETA, etc., etc. Same. This is the understanding where we are. If they would have told you you are eight zero DME. Outbound Mumbai, then you would have spotted yourself somewhere here. What could you do? Either you do further climb to top of climb, or you just give your position report and take crossing clearances, depending upon what your assumption is as per the flight plan during cruise, uh, during climb. Here, because it's descent, we know we are at our cruising level only, unless we are clear to another flight level in the earlier question. in this question we can assume that we are still at our cruising level of flight level 150 correction flight level 250 80 dme it means i have to request for descent 
top of descent time is the estimate time that will commence descent, which could be five minutes or one zero minutes from the time of call. Students, आपको समझ आ रहा है? Shrijit, आपको शायद नहीं आएगा. You'll get there. But others, whoever has attended lecture eight nine, you should be knowing about these things. If not, make a point of it. Share your parking lot at least. Okay. Headwind. Now my aircraft is flying in this direction. Let's say my airspeed is four hundred knots. I have a headwind. Any headwind will reduce my practical speed, whatever my real speed is. So if my headwind is experienced at this point, based upon my headwind, if it's twenty knots, my tires would change to a ground speed, which would be. 400 minus 20 is equal to 380 knots. So on ground you are maintaining a 380 knots. It means there will be delay of some time before you reach Delhi compared to the time when you didn't have any headwind. So no headwind, you are flying at 400 knots. With headwind, you are flying at 380 knots. So the difference in distance. And time can be calculated as per the speed distance time formula, and that delay has to be announced to ATC. So in this call, we don't only have to take descent, but we have to give revised estimates due to the headwind component. But it's a combination of two things. So the call would be Delhi Control, Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo, A zero DME inbound Delhi, flight level two five zero, departed Mumbai, so and so time. IFR Mumbai to Delhi. Estimated time of arrival Delhi one four zero zero. Due strong headwind component. Expect delay one zero minutes. Revise estimate. Time of arrival Delhi one four one zero. Top of descent one four zero five. These are my estimates. This is my radial. This is my DME. Request descent. Are you understanding what I just did, students? How to think about the call in your mind? How to make it? Wherever I said this, 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 you look at the chart and put in the actual values of radial DME. Everything else is just a skeleton I have made in my mind. This is how you have to make your calls in your mind. Fill in the blanks looking at the chart. Check ATCs and then start transmitting your call to ATC in the exam. समझ रहे आप लोग? कुलदीप, did you get the answer to your question? What we are required to do? Headwind, experiencing delay, do strong headwind. Revise the estimates, name the estimates, then take whatever clearance you want. Simple. So here, new thing is to mention revised estimates, experiencing delay, and then take descent any which ways because the only thing that you could do reaching eight zero DME inbound Delhi if Delhi is the destination is descend and nothing else. That is something you have to think about with your logic. So where you are, situational awareness. If I tell you you are somewhere here. And I say you are, let's say, three hundred nautical miles inbound. What will you do? Probably crossing clearance, probably position report, nothing else. Maybe control boundary crossing, or maybe route crossing, or maybe a fire boundary, or maybe just position report, nothing else. Here, if you have headwind, revised estimates, revised ETA, but still the call will be position report only because you are cruising. You have nothing else to do. Are you following me, students? How to decipher? Kuldeep, कुछ समझ आ रहा है? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Form. Correct. So I think answer मिल गया आपको? Sir, ये ज़रूरत नहीं है अभी. और questions के साथ भी हो सकता है ना? मतलब हर question के साथ हो सकता है और कितना frequent आते हैं मतलब ऐसे questions? Every second question could be logical question, or difficult question, or simple question with multiple solutions. Every second could be like that. Generally, such questions are only considered as difficult questions. By students, but if you follow the training, I will teach you how to crack it. ताकि आपको tension ही ना हो कि मेरे को हजार question रट के नहीं जाने हैं मुझे basics पढ़ना है हजार क्या दो हजार question पूछ ले सब के मैं calls दे सकता हूँ बिना किसी एक बार solve किए ऐसा होता है that's the logic we have to use because just a call you understand rules of the air you understand the call structures you understand the language just speak. The only time you'll have problem is that you'll not understand a certain term given to in question with respect to rules of the air. इसलिए जितना ज़्यादा आप read करोगे, उतना ज़्यादा chance होगा आपको उस चीज़ को समझने का exam में. Abbreviations, definitions, नहीं तो नहीं समझ में आएंगे. 
how would I know what CTC is if I'm not realize CTC is abbreviation for contact? Do bar bhi main dekh lunga, sirf to mujhe yaad rahega. It's like that. So please make it a reading habit if you really want to crack your RT every day, 30 minutes to one hour spent just reading the documents I have in a way to have well read all the documents at least twice. Well read, not mugged up. Mug up karne ke liye itna material kabhi dhunga bhi nahi aapko. Main, main pointers dhunga aur wo mug up karwaunga khud. So understand the task and give me daily reports if your exams are in December or October. I would say everybody start making a habit of this. बाद में नहीं पढ़ा जाता इतना कंटेंट बहुत ज्यादा है डेली आदत डालोगे पता भी नहीं चलेगा समझ रहे गुड सो स्टूडेंट्स टुमारो आल्सो आई वांट टू मीट यू एट द सेम टाइम बिकॉज द कॉल्स दैट आई वांटेड टू टीच यू ऑल सैडली और हैप्पीली वॉट एवर वी वॉन्ट टू लुक एट इट आज नहीं कर पाएंगे बट कल सवा ग्यारह बजे आई स्टार्ट विद दैट इलेवन सो सारे प्रैक्टिस कॉल्स वी हैव टू इंश्योर वी डू इट इलेवन टू इलेवन I'll be willing to start the session 10 40, uh, 45 onwards if students are available for free practice. Although the lecture will start at 11. So, Jojo, ready? Hai, a jana, 10 45. I'm getting a request with one person also. I'll start the session and we can practice two, three calls. Please follow. Tomorrow, I want to show all these calls to you with respect to the scripts that I have so that it is easier for you to handle these calls. So 11 a.m. tomorrow, in case you cannot meet it and you have your exams, let me know in advance. Rest about your mocks. I will update you about your mocks. Students who are okay with group mocks, let me know. Who are not okay with group mocks, one-on-one -on -one mocks, let me know. So that we'll do one-on-one -on -one mock. And if you have any more requests, let me know before 5 p.m. today, okay? Yeah, Kuldeep, what's on your mind? Nothing, sir. Okay. So, class, sorry, today greeting didn't get the initial because system issues were delayed. But I'm very happy to see all of you all. Shrijit, Prerit, Prakhar, Kuldeep, Vara Prasad, very happy. I was not able to recognize your call sign earlier. But nice. And okay. Kanishk, nice to see you take calls. Vikram, you have a lot to read. You have time. You can do it. Zai Prakash, good try. Good sending of calls and good thing. Keeping calm. I like that. Kal to aap full Red Bull wale mode mein te aap. Siddharth, didn't see your practice much. Please uh, update me on what and how it's going on. Yamuna, we have a couple of things to talk about with respect to some registrations. Give me an update on that. How's it going? Good calls, good practice. Keep it up. Keep doing what you're doing. Muskan, anything and everything you need, apart from slight things that we are focused, give me an update today before 5 p.m. Niharika, going great. I would like to see your 10 more calls, but you have time, so nothing to worry. Shatta, you are doing well. I want your update with respect to how many lectures are left to finish, part one, part two, both. Ayan, same goes to you. Ayan, if you have part two, please tell me. And Ayan, after lunch, uh, remind me, I'll share the access to navigation for you. Okay. Students, instructions are clear. Tomorrow you will finally get word by word call examples as issued by ICAO. Something high level. Be ready and be fast. I am flexible with time, but generally I also don't be happy when I feel I have not accomplished what I want to accomplish. But then I don't panic because I can take care of it. Okay. Because this is also important. I don't want you or me to be bound by time at the cost of quality. But make sure you don't make it a habit. All right. So try to join 1045 onwards so that a few of you all can practice. If not, I'll allow you to join together. And at least I don't know, you can practice in 10 minutes. Kar sakte ho. Hai? Send me your reading tasks. I want manual updates. How much have you read? And I want verification of the latest version of ICAO manual of RT with source material. I'm expecting everybody to send this information to me. Shridit, personal, tumhara hai, CR based pe mujhe, difference ka kuch pe aap laake do aaj, kya mil raha hai aapko? No YouTube videos, please. Thik hai? Okay, sir. Chalo students, I'll take your leave and I'll see you tomorrow sharp at 11. Planning to wrap up sooner. Three hour class maximum tomorrow, 11 to 1, 1 to 2. 
sorry, 11 to 12, 12 to 1, 1 to 2. Yeah. So please cooperate and give better calls as good as today and slightly better than today. Okay, students, I'll see you. Take care, everyone. Feel free to leave the session. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. sir I have sir. a question. How many lectures does part two have? Seven, eight. Seven, eight, yeah. So, total around 30 lectures for part one and part two. No, 25 se kami honge. The recordings I'm talking about. Okay. And some and of the uh, part two lectures are about five hours in length. Regulations ka sir, kitna portion hai? Uh, regulations ka aapko aadha part two regulations milega, aadha part two technical milega. But aapne pehle kiya hai, nahi kiya, aapko saare karne padenge kuldi. Haan, haan, main sir karunga, lekin regulations ke liye main sir bhoot hi weak ho. Kini mujhe... So, you have a revision, hoga, sir. Okay. You just go with the flow and sequence of lectures. That's it. Okay. Hai na? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, most welcome. Go with the concern, uh, sir, hai, also... mujhe, but follow what I'm saying, okay? And if you're not sir, following, mujhe... let me know. Just, sir, I uh, had a question. I had to self practice. So, today's calls, I will send self practice and send you. You're welcome to do that. क्योंकि मुझे देखना है कि मेरा पेस कैसा है स्पीड वो कितना है तो आज की जो रिमेनिंग कॉल्स है जैसे स्टार्टअप कॉल है ये सब है अपने हिसाब से जो सही लग रहा है करो कुछ गलत नहीं करना और कॉन्फिडेंस में हम कभी गलत डिसीजन ले सकते हैं जो हमारे पास नॉलेज आधी होती है उस चीज का बस ध्यान रखना है नहीं सर मुझे बस देखना है कि मैं कहां स्टैंड करता हूं मेरे कॉल्स कैसे हैं ऑफ कोर्स हमें तो देखना ही है मुझे भी देखना है सर तुम ही क्यों देखोगे आपने कल भी शेयर किया मेरे साथ कीप डूइंग इट Keep doing it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Usko kis cheez pe judge kar rahe ho, us pe hum dhyan denge. But tab tak aap karo jo kar rahe ho. Anything extra you do as per your own skills, I appreciate it. Achha hai? Bhejo. Timer laga ke bhejo. Time record karo. Rate of speed check karo. It should, it should merge with all the instructions that I give. To wo ek trademark aa gaya tumhaya. Pa benchmark. Not trademark. Benchmark aa gaya. Samajh rahe ho? Aur kahi se kuch nahi pick up karna hai unless you finish the course. ध्यान रखना करोगे तो कोर्स खत्म होने के मेरे इंस्ट्रक्शंस के बाद करोगे आई गिव यू अ रूम टू पिक अप थिंग्स फ्रॉम एक्सटर्नल साइड्स आल्सो बट नॉट राइट नाउ ध्यान रखना उस चीज का कुछ आ रहा है तो मुझसे कंसल्ट करके ही अप्लाई करना अपने कॉल्स में इतना नहीं करना है उस चीज का ध्यान रखो आप पता चला कुछ गलत है हो सकता है कुछ ऑप्शंस ही नहीं है ना भाई चलो बढ़िया रखो भी मत पहले इतना खत्म कर लो बस ठीक है गुड जॉब थैंक यू सर मोस्ट वेलकम यस स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव एनी yeah sir i had a request uh sir uh, lecture 6 onwards access nahi mila ab tak mujhe to bas wo hota tha is it if l6 is done and you don't have doubts you have to tell me sir l6 done no doubts request further access proactively wo request pe aapko milega to check check your personal growth to agar wo hua aur miss ho gaya to uska highlight karo bas ओके सर एल5 तक हो गया एल6 ऑनवर्ड्स नहीं था इसलिए मतलब डाउट तो अभी तक नहीं है लेकिन बस वही था आई थिंक एल6 होना चाहिए बट जस्ट मैसेज मी सर एल5 डन नो डाउट्स दीस आर माय नोट्स स्टैंडिंग बाय फॉर एक्सेस टू एल6 ये मैसेज छोड़ दो आपको मिल जाएगा ओके सर थैंक यू सर हमेशा कोई लेक्चर हो गया और एक्सेस नहीं है जब हो गया तभी बताना है वेट नहीं करना ऐसे नहीं मिलेगा तुम्हें समझ रहे हो खुद से बताना होगा फिर मिल जाएगा ओके सर मैसेज करो फिर मिल जाएगा आपको दैट्स आर प्लेस फॉर लेक्चर एक्सेस रिक्वेस्ट ओके सर ओके प्रेरित अयान एनीथिंग यस सर आई वांटेड टू टॉक अबाउट माय कंप्यूटर नंबर अपडेट सर आई हैव रिसीव्ड वन ईमेल दैट दे हैव गॉट माय हार्ड कॉपीज ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स बट देयर इज नो फर्दर अपडेट्स फ्रॉम देम तो दो अपडेट आ सकती है डेली ईमेल चेक करो वैसे तो आ जाएगा ईमेल यस सर या तो कंप्यूटर नंबर इशूड या कंप्यूटर नंबर रिजेक्ट बस इशूड हो गया तो मिल जाएगा और रिजेक्ट आ गया तो रीजन आ जाएंगे क्यों रिजेक्ट हुआ है सो वी हैव टू जस्ट वेट फॉर दैट सर कब तक मतलब एक्सपेक्ट कर सकते हैं ये डेट ऑफ रिसेप्शन ऑफ हार्ड कॉपीज कब मिला था आपको सर uh, ये तो uh, जब मैंने भेजा था उसके चार पांच दिन बाद ही आ गया था सर कितने दिन हो गए लगभग उसको महीना भर हो गया आपका 
negative, sir. Forty days, twenty days, fifteen days, approx. Yes, sir. Approximately, उतना हो गया होगा सर. Twenty thirty days हो गए होंगे सर. कभी भी आ सकता है. आज कल परसों आई थिंक पंद्रह दिन के अंदर अंदर आ जाना चाहिए उससे ज्यादा लेट नहीं होना चाहिए हो गया तो हम कुछ नहीं कर सकते स्पैम चेक करते रहो डेली यस है ना स्पैम प्रमोशंस अपडेट्स सब चेक करो फोल्डर सुबह और शाम को दोपहर चेक के लिए करो बस टेंशन मत लो और यस रिजेक्शन ई तो रिजेक्शन साफ साफ सब्जेक्ट लाइन में लिखा होगा तुम समझ जाओगे डरना नहीं ठीक है क्या क्या रीजन है उस पर काम करेंगे और रीअप्लाई करेंगे सेम प्रोसेस Yes, और क्यों हो गया तो तुम्हें अलग ही मैसेज आएगा सॉफ्ट एंड सटल मैसेज है इशू का बहुत थैंक यू सर जैसे ही आएगा मुझे बताना ठीक है श्योर श्योर सर आरटी का मुझे अपडेट फीडबैक चाहिएगा आजकल मैं भेजो मुझे गुड प्लान प्रॉपर ठीक है yes, नौ तारीख नौ तारीख वेट नहीं करेंगे हम अभी पंद्रह अक्टूबर के पहले पहले रैपअप करना है तुम्हारा लास्ट टाइम एंड में नहीं कर पाए वो अब करना है अपन को बस सिंपल ठीक है मुझे डेली अपडेट्स भी दिया करो ना प्रेरित सर अभी बैठ रहा हूँ अभी उठ रहा हूँ तुम नहीं करते हो डेली अपडेट्स पढ़ रहे हो मुझे पता है बट तीन तीन दिन से मैं पूछता हूँ तभी देते हो अपडेट तो डेली दोगे तो अच्छा लगेगा मुझे yes, sir, I'll do it, sir. आज करो रैपअप का एंड सुबह से स्टार्ट का भी करना है चलो कल तो लेक्चर है पता चल जाएगा बट अदरवाइज ऑल्सो ओके गुड 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 अन एनी थिंग ऑन सर नो सर थैंक यू हैव अ गुड डे आप कितने बजे करने बैठ रहे हो आज आज टाइम मिल रहा है तुम्हें कब करोगे उसे आपसे एक्सेस दे रहा हूं आपको मैं जी सर एक लेक्चर कर लूंगा सर आज कितने बजे बैठ रहे हो अभी लंच के बाद सर हाँ लंच के बाद मैसेज करोगे नहीं आया आपको लेक्चर तो आपका जो भी पेंडिंग है ना बातें अपनी डाउट्स वी विल डिस्कस डाटा जो पुराना आपका है सर्कल वर्कल जो भी थे चेकलिस्ट सो डोंट थिंक वो डिस्कस नहीं होने वाले हैं जी या या सो इन श्योर आई एम नॉट फॉरगेटिंग यू आर नॉट फॉरगेटिंग मैंने ये वाला आरटी से रिलेटेड भेजा है सर शेड्यूल रिवीजन शेड्यूल है सर वो मेरा ये 20 बीस कॉल प्रैक्टिस तो तुम करोगे तुम 2023 से लास्ट में 24 एंड 25 एंड 26 एंड 27 एंड 28 पे चले गए वो गाड़ी लंबा चला रहे हो क्या आरटी ट्रेनिंग नहीं सर वो बाय आई नो ह्यूमन एरर हुआ है वहां पे ये इतना रिवीजन में एक-एक साल का टाइम क्यों ले रहे हो आप नहीं सर वो डे 14 के बाद डे 15 एक साल बाद टाइम मशीन है क्या तुम्हारे पास वो गलती से एंटर हो गया <laughs> ये छोटी छोटी चीजें है यार मैं तुम्हें इसीलिए बस डांटता रहता हूँ छोटे छोटे एरर्स की वजह से तुम इतना कुछ अच्छा करते हो बट वो हाँ छोटी मोटी मिस्टेक्स कर देते हो वो ही फिक्स करनी है हमें अब वो मिस्टेक्स लेके चलोगे तो आगे भी होंगे ना फिर बट आई अप्रीशियट अच्छा बनाया आपने अच्छा बनाया गुड गुड फॉलो इट एंड गिव मी एन अपडेट चल रहा है क्या टाइम मिल रहा है क्या आज क्या डेफिनेशन करने है ना आज हाँ सर एंड के फाइव पेजेस गुड 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 करो करो आज ये कर लो नैब नहीं भी करोगे चल जाएगा मुझे बट नैब का एक्सेस मिल जाएगा बस रिमाइंड करो टेक्स्ट पे जी सर लास्ट लेक्चर भेजो एंड बोलो सर नीड फर्दर एक्सेस फ्रॉम दिस लेक्चर ओके सर ठीक है थैंक यू सर मोस्ट वेलकम सर यस जय प्रकाश टेल मी Sir, actually, yesterday I will send you message personally about so my exam date. Yeah, yeah. Party. Yeah, yeah. Zay Prakash. Yes, I am writing your date. Yeah, yeah. It's there in the list. So, how can I help you with that? How is the revision? Sir, can I call you again, sir? Uh, maybe we can talk. If I miss your call, uh, I'll call you back. But you drop What me a message you? in case we cannot talk. I'm not sure. Hmm, before five, not possible. Okay, you message After... me. You first do one thing. You just update me about your preparation and revision. Just message me about it. 
in detail just message okay. me just message me whatever you have done and uh, what is your plan do you remember do you not remember how confident are you with part 1 part 2 what have you studied what have you not studied what topics you are master okay. what topics you are still not confident at least send me that in text based upon that i'll talk to you roger victor tango dulal do it today okay send it before 5 if possible definitely sir send me this list and rest i'll tell you what to do tomorrow live lecture attend definitely same time yes sir yes fm victor tango dulal bye chalo take care okay bye bye